the raddest thing I ever ever seen all day. It is finally here, Friday, Friday night. <laughs> And what better way to celebrate than with Yakuza Zero? Hey, hey, how's it going, y'all? Uh, we're continuing more Yakuza Zero today on the Manoka Dobo stream. And, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> I feel like we basically didn't do any story plot yesterday because that's when the open world opened up. And I'm just like, ooh, disco dancing. Ooh, batting cages. Ooh, slot cars. I didn't even do the slot cars because there was barely enough time for karaoke. <laughs> Today, today is the day. We're gonna do a little more plot with Tachibana real estate. And then maybe do the slot cars. I did get the godlike gears yesterday, and that was amazing. Oh my goodness. As long as we don't uh, encounter any more kids trying to buy Dragon Quest, please. That proves fatal to me. Let's get into it, baby! Da 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 da. Ba da da. Ba da da. So, uh, yeah, I will say I'm a little bit late to stream today because uh, my PS5 controller that I was using last stream just did not want... Oh, my God. Really? I was going to say, my PS5 controller did not want to connect to my PC, but it's okay. I'm using my PS4 controller now so I can still get the PS4 buttons. Guys, do you see PS4 buttons? I don't see PS4 buttons. I'm restarting it. Don't no, just hold on one second. One second. It's gonna. It's gonna. God. Technical difficulties abounds today, apparently. Yeah, because it's zero. Start it up. It better show the right buttons. I swear. This is the entire reason I'm playing it like this. If I had known that, I would have just played it on PS4 again. All right, you wanna start? You wanna play? I was trying to get, like. The uh, the PS5 the control the controller to work by like USB connection, and then uh, it was doing this weird thing where it was like dropping the signal and dropping connection, and because the PS5 controller is an audio device, it was like freaking out my OBS audio capture. Uh, PC version of the games, y'all, they work great. <laughs> they work just fine. <laughs> Yeah, baby. PS4 buttons, please. I would like them. Thank you. All right, now we can start the game proper. Down, down, down. Love the Hideo reference. Ah, you yeah, noticed. That's what happens when my video card doesn't work. And uh, I, I didn't bother to fix it up today because I'm not using the video card. I'm just playing off of my, uh, playing off of my, 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 my computer. Pretty good, eh? Let's hope that the PS4 controller has enough battery, because I didn't charge it. So yeah, we're playing again. Uh, let's go find that slot car. Let's do that first, so I don't forget. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, no, it's this guy. No, no, no. I swear, sir, I am a law-abiding citizen of the Japan. Japanifornia. Here, have my identification. Shows bottle of stamina in. A moment, please. Huh? What is it? Can I ask you a few questions? Tuh. A stop and search, huh? What's your name? And what do you do for a living? Who is your daddy and what does he do? Fine. The name's Kiryu. I'm in a hurry here. Well, we've had some trouble around these parts lately. Oh yeah? Really? Then what are you doing about it, officer? I've been killed by like a Mr. Shakedown left and right. Are you actually are you actually keeping the peace? Or are you just bothering people? Come on! Just to be sure, would you mind if I checked your belongings? What of my things got to do with any trouble around here? Relax, it's just a precaution. Can you show me what you're carrying? You know, the first time I found this guy, I was carrying the BB gun from the vending machine. <laughs> I'm like, wait, is that bad? But I don't have it right now. I do have gears though. What's your name? Ugh, this could take forever. I might as well show him what I have and get this over with. Okay, you win. I'll show you then. What should I hand over? Here, have some tissues. You'll never know when they come in handy. How about this? Huh. This is about as safe as it gets. It doesn't look like you're carrying anything dangerous. Here, take this back. Yes, because uh. I have tissues, I have nothing else. Yeah, no, just let me walk around. How about, how about the Yakuza dad that shot me? You wanna stop him? He's got a gun. He's also got a copy of Arakure 3. 
I've got nothing to hide. I see. Well, thank you for your cooperation. Give me a break. Comps like you are always abusing your power. You never stop to think about how much of an inconvenience this is for regular citizens. Yeah. Well, that may be so for other police officers. Not for me, though. Why do you inconvenience people on purpose? I'm only doing this because it's all I'm good for. Oh. Hmm? Huh? What do you mean? Oh, never mind about me. I'm the one asking the questions here. This game condition you to always carry tissues. I'm sure, like, you'll be fine if you take, like, if you give him a stamina, right? I'm sorry, this particular brand of stamina was outlawed in 1987 because its caffeine content was too much to be legally viable. I'm gonna have to confiscate this. <laughs> Never mind about me, I'm the one asking questions here. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I was sure you had something big on you. I have a nose for these things. <laughs> I've got a Mr. Mega Drive plush. How about that? <laughs> well, I guess your nose failed you this time. I'm not so sure. My sixth sense tells me I'll find something huge if I dig deep enough. What, I'm not a Brosara seller? I don't know what to say. You want top or bottom? How about middle? <laughs> I'm a pro at stopping searches. Until I'm sure you're not a threat, I'm gonna keep questioning you, okay? Not okay. Oh, come on, Kiryu-san. Be a good sport. It won't take long. I just want to be sure. I give up. Fine. Have it your way. Just keep it short. All right, thank you. My name is Officer Kikuchi. Kikuchi. Friendship. Friendship. Why, why, why am I going to be friendship? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is Kiryu's Canon event. No. Yeah, I, you know what? That meme's already dead in the water. Beaten horse. I'm just saying, like, if, he's, if Kiryu's going to be Spider-Man and Yakuza the man with no name, it's like, well, he has to be friends with a police officer, right? Oop, uh... I'll see you around then! You now got to know Officer Stop and Search Kikuchi. <laughs> Pretty good. Wow, well, friends. Hey, maybe you know I'll, I'll, I'll have some connections in the police force. Can't stop me. I, I never do anything illicit. Never. So, Sapphire, how you doing? Kitty chan! You know it. Oh, shake down. Ooh, 90 million though? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, no, I want to fight the Shakedown Man! You butts! You're interrupting my precious money making scheme. Beat Mr. Shakedown five times in a row. Yeah, baby. The cop dating sim route. Great. You end up in jail for your, for your wedding night. I haven't committed a felony today yet. No! Shakedown's gone! I blame you guys. I could have been 90 million yen richer, and now what happens? All right, next time I see Mr. Shakedown, I'm just gonna like run right into him. Oh, look, I found him. Mr. Shakedown, fight me! Hey, yo! <laughs> Uh, before I forget, you know, talking about the Yakuza dad that shot me, I was just saying before stream was started, like, hmm, isn't it suspicious how, how, you know, this game has Dragon Quest in it because of Araku A3, and then I met up with a father figure involved with said Dragon Quest, and then he shot me when I was just trying to bond over Dragon Quest. Now, isn't that just exactly what happens at the beginning of Yakuza Like a Dragon? Ichiban Kasuga just trying to meet up with his old dad, figure Arukawa, and he's just like, hey dad, let's eat Peking Duck and play Dragon Quest, and he's like, bang. <laughs> Sorry if that's spoilers, but that's like very, very early on in Yakuza 7. It's the same game. Like, they must have seen it happen. When they were writing Yakuza 7, when they were replaying Yakuza 0, they are like, yeah, that's canon now. It's his formative moments. Pretty good. Yeah, hey, you! You again. Don't you ever get tired of this. I was looking for you. Wanted to thank you. For what? You showed me that I was still weak. A far cry from becoming the strongest living creature on the planet. 
So I went to the wildest of mountains to retrain myself. I wrestled with tigers and bears, endured extreme weather, and forged a stronger body in the process. Alright, did you also, like, eat an infinity stone or something? Tigers, bears. Hey, you know who has also fought tigers and bears? Ichiban Kasuga. Nothing I haven't seen before. I'm surprised you came back alive. Isaac getting some eggs? Nice. Yeah, but I ran out of funds and I had to cut it short, so here I am. Hold on. If you were camping in the wilderness, isn't that practically free? I couldn't just go up any mountain. I guess skiing is really popular these days and people are everywhere. I needed a place where I could focus on training, away from tourists. So I bought a m <laughs> You bought a mountain?! I didn't know there were mountains for sale! What, just like a foothill next to Mount Fuji? What? <laughs> that way, no one else can use it. It was good value for the money. Cool. Is that owned by Tachibana Real Estate? You beat people up and use the money to buy a mountain? If that's not crazy, I don't know what is. Well, can I rent it? I mean, you know Airbnb is really popular these days. You could make a killing. You probably get more money that way instead of beating people up. Ordinary people don't get it, I know. Although, anyway, I've gotten all I can from mountain training. I need to find a more unforgiving environment to push my natural limits. So I came back to collect the necessary funds, and who do I meet right away if not you? It's gotta be fate. It's not fate, it's bad luck. For you! I have no idea if training made you stronger, but I'm not allowed to let you mug me. Fine, bring it on! I'll think of it as part of my training, and I'm gonna take all the cash you got! No! That's it. Man's got that Mr. Beast money. Oh, uh, yeah! Yeah, he's got the kick now. Oh yeah, he's got two health bars too. Yeah, nothing I can't deal with. I don't think so. Especially now that I got the dodge that goes in the middle of the combo. I feel a lot safer with the Mr. Shakedowns. And he goes for the kick. Shouldn't have to use too many of these. Yeah, baby. As long as I don't get one hit comboed. Buddy, buddy, boyo. This all day. Watch me go. Watch me. I'm so fast. You can't even hit me. Can't even hit my tiny head. I got a tiny little head. Look at all the money I'm racking up just by punching them. Oh, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. I wasn't paying attention. Well, at least he didn't combo me. Friday night, baby. Don't get too cocky. Definitely don't eat the app stem. I haven't even gotten his first health bar down yet. Normally he tries to stop me as soon as I get knocked down. Oh no 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 no! What is going on? Give me the toughest easy. 
Oh yeah, I'm getting achievements for using a medicine items. That is not an achievement I want to be proud of. No, no, no! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, he coming. Uh oh, he coming! All right, let's 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 play it safe this time. Back to the old grind. Three hits most. He's back to the one health bar anyway. No, no, no! Mr. Shakedown, I'm getting that 90 million. Like, if it was 9 million, I'd be like, mm, you know, I, could, I could do without that much money. 90 million is just asking for it. I mean, buying a mountain, I'll make better financial investments. I'll buy a copy of Metal Gear 1 and 2 for the MSX. This is Japan. They'll be more affordable. Maybe. Hopefully. Don't even try it. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. Yellow Pikachu, what's up? Welcome to Friday. All right, he's got heat mode. I just love Kiryu's little run in rush mode. No! Like, with both his fists out there. Like, I'm going, I'm going! <laughs> Can't catch me! Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the Yakuza man. Yeah, right before stream, I was talking about, like, what I was gonna bring to MGS Con. That's tomorrow. The first Metal Gear Solid convention. It's in LA. I'm like, I'll just I'll just head on over there. Easy enough for me. I'm gonna get a copy of Akira, the 1988 dub, signed by Cam Clark. Cause he's of course the big name when it comes to like all the signings and whatnot. Everyone out here getting a copy of Metal Gear Solid 1 signed, I'm like, Akira. Both for the memes, because it's the same dub that has the Leave me alone! Dang! Akira, Akira! <laughs> and because of the Cam Clark. Like, that, that dub is great. Like, he's the most professional. It's as professional as it gets in the 1980s for anime dubs. And I think the people in it gave their all. It's just, uh, direction was not in the best place at the time. Yeah, I'm I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. I'll let you know how Metal Gear Solid Con goes. I won't I won't be streaming tomorrow, so you all have to wait a week for the report. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Achievement unlock. Scrub. The financial loss of one punch. Wait, was I getting shaken down every time I get punched by him? Oh, that's how he works. I see how it okay. I was wondering why last time I fought him, it's like he had like 8 million, but I only got 6. I guess every time you get fought, the total prize gets lowered. You know what? I still got 68 mil. Almost nice. <laughs> Looks like I would again. Damn it. It's time you gave it up, Egashira. Egg. So my secret training in the mountain wilderness was so use? Fine. I just need to go undergo even harsher training. You just don't learn, do you? If I understand at the apex of all organisms, that means I gotta defeat you first. And I'm planning on doing just that. You haven't seen the last of the strongest living creature. You know what? I appreciate Egashira. Like, unlike the other, uh, Mr. Shakedown, what was his name? Like, Kato? Or something? Egashira has a goal. He has his own, like, personal, uh, like, his personal goals in mind. And he needs to reach them. Like, he'd be the anime protagonist in any other media if it wasn't for the fact that he's beating people up for money. 
Tato is just like, I, I don't like your face. That guy's a real pain. If he goes going to keep at this, I better make sure I'm ready to take him on. <laughs> the way we do that is with slot car racing. I feel it. You lose the negative value. Damn. Personal egg. Egg. Wish you could be in Japan in the 80s just for the gaming and electronics boom. Yeah, think of all the, the retro video games we could have bought new. I don't know what that burger is. BB burger up there. It's only 280 yen though, and I want it. All right, where's the slot cars? Children's Park, there it is. This is the moment I've been waiting for. We don't need a reason for joy, oh yeah. The Pocket Circus Stadium is just up the stairs. It's a real blast. Let me save first. I don't want to lose all this Egashira money. Egg. A bluebird cup. The food in this game always makes you want it. Even back in this one. Like PS4 era. Was this... Am I imagining that... Was it Yakuza Kiwami 1 and 2 that was originally on PS3? Was Zero also on PS3? It's surprising. Yakuza Zero! An action-adventure game developed by Ryo Gaga Toko series. Uh, mm -mm -mm. It was released in PlayStation 3 in Japan in March 2015. This game, I don't know how different the graphics are on the PS3 version, but... Yeah, no, this game looks really good for a PS3 game, honestly. So this is the Pocket Circuit Stadium. Looks like a popular spot. The food in this game brought you to Takoyaki. Oh, you gotta, one day, bucket list. Go get Takoyaki in Osaka. Go to Dotonbori Street. Don't go to the big, like, popular Takoyaki place that has, like, uh, the big squid sign, the big octopus sign. Because that's the one all the tourists go to. Go to the takoyaki place that has, like, a cow suspended from the wall on a sign. That is the best takoyaki place on Dotonbori Street, Street, fight me. Because it's like, the takoyaki is huge and it's, it's moist and delicious and it's just filled with so much octopus. The famous, the, the touristy one will just give you like one piece. Like, no, 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 you gotta have it. And it's only 350 yen. Always. Keep it in mind, please do. Cow. All right, pocket circuit guy. Ah, who do we have here? Is this your first time at the Pocket Circuit Stadium? This guy's serious. Look at that headband. He's ready to go be in a workout video. This guy is decked out like a Christmas tree. Uh, Merry Christmas, Kiryu. Uh, yeah, I heard this was the new craze, so I came for a look. <laughs> You're completely new to slot car racing, huh? Nice to have some fresh blood. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Pocket Circuit Fighter! I handle registration and race commentary. Commentary for the races? Oh. Of course, it gets everybody really amped up. So what's your name then? I'm Kazuma Kiryu. Well, buddy, I'll call you Kazuma-kun! Uh, Kazuma-kun? Oh. You don't mind if I call you that, right? We like to keep things informal around here, so everyone's Kun or Chan! Why, I can't be Kazuma-chan? <laughs> Tinyu-chan! So Kazuma-kun it is! Tika's got a bad case of diarrhea. Where'd that come from? I'm sorry. Probably shouldn't have, uh... Eating the cheap takoyaki. Uh, okay, if you say so. You're a complete newbie when it comes to pocket circuit, huh? Has anybody ever raced slot cars before? When I was in elementary school, like, one of my friends was really into, like, buying the little slot cars. We didn't have a slot car track, though. So we just, like, took the little cars. We, we would buy the cars at the Fry's Electronics, because that store used to exist. Dang, rip Fry's. And they would sell, like, imported, like, model kits and, and 
Tamiya brand slot cars back in the day. I think I still have mine. I need to go find it next time I go home. But uh, I, we would just like take them to the front of the school and race them on the sidewalk and just hope that they don't accidentally uh, veer off into the street. <laughs> but that's that was the slot car racing, baby. That was the, those were the days. Yeah, but I heard a little about it inside. You race motorized model cars, right? So that it? So that it? That's right, but racing them's only the beginning. Customizing cars is where the real action's at. Customizing cars? Well, I do have these godlike gears. You have what? Yeah, winning a race after customizing your car with all sorts of components is super fun. You can buy components from the pocket circuit stadium shop over there. That's adorable. Look at that. The little the boxes stacked up. I, I, you know, this is making me want a slot car now. You might find components around town too. You can make your very own speed demon, Kazumakun. Okay, I get the gist. Sounds like there's more to this than meets the eye. I understand why it's so popular now. There are rumors of awesome components available at the high-end dream machine vending machines too. Rumors? I've lived it, baby. If you ever want to know about pocket circuits, just say the word. I'm here to help. Uh, okay, got it. Thanks for filling me in. Hope to see you back here. I'll be waiting. Pocket Circuit does sound pretty fun. I should ask Pocket Fighter about it more sometime. Pocket the Fighter! One of your friends had a track and some cars. It was so long you don't remember much about it. Yeah, no. I... This is intense. Like, this is a whole thing. I think it's... Is that a loop-de-loop -loop over there? Yeah, there's a loop-de-loop! -loop. What happens if you're not fast enough to go, in, go through it? You just fall to your doom, I guess. This is great. I want something like this in real life. Yeah. There is, there actually is a hobby store uh, in, I believe it's near, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's near East LA that, um, that does specialize in slot cars. I did go looking for Gundam stuff one time and they did have Gundams, but they were really focused on slot cars. There was like giant tracks in, like spanning the entire warehouse floor. You decided to get uh, Pocket Circuit a shot? Yeah! Let's do it. A new opponent to race gets your competitive spirit going. Okay. Watch, he's just Majima in disguise. See, I don't even know Majima yet. To commemorate your Pocket Circuit debut, here's a card to get you started. You're giving oh, it to me? Uh. Yeah, you know, it's the gateway drug. Sure, it's all yours! Pocket Circuit has its fair share of grown-up fans, but most racers are kids. I'd be stoked to see more people our age getting involved, so think of this as a little incentive. <laughs> well, I can't say no to that. Look at Kiryu, he's happy. He's into it. The Golem Tiger, I love that. That sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Slick tires. Power motor. It's just a little electric motor. Balance frame. Regular gears. Regular battery. You got red blaze. A glitch happened where you had one of the best gears in the wrong inventory. It didn't go into components. It gave you infinite gears. Uh, middle gear. Let's have a race. And then I'll put in the godlike gears and he'll wonder like, wait, how'd you get so good? I gave you that car for free. Boost. Boost. Stabilize. Wait. Okay. Triangle. Circle. Okay. Boost. Boost. How do I boost? It's simple. Slot cars are placed in lanes and the one to finish all the last first wins. Don't just stand there and watch. You can give the car a boost of speed. Press triangle. <laughs> now. Ravish them. Now that's what I call speed. But the number of times you can boost your car is limited and it makes it easy to fall on lane. <laughs> just like that. Your car's about to fall out! Press circle rapidly to get it back on track! Phew, that was close! Pressing circle to save your car only works when you have energy in the top left gauge, though. I see it. Now you just race to the goal line. Feeling impatient, you can fast forward the race! No, this is exciting as it is. Now that can save you a lot of time, huh? That'll give you time for more races. I win! 
So that's it, you know all the basics. Talk to me anytime if you need a refresher. I do not know how I'm actually boosting this little car. These cars aren't remote controlled. You actually just like let it rip. You just like turn it on and just drop it in. So uh, I'm not exactly sure how they're supposed to, you know, QU's just got like the competitive spirit injected directly into the battery. That should about cover it. If there's anything else you want to know, just ask. We're about the same age, so I can tell you a few things from experience. Okay. You got a no pocket circuit. Fine, ship. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast created a bond of the car arcana. Customized car. I'm putting those gears in. Just supercharge it. What is this 90s freaking customized music? I guess this is 1988, so it fits. I like the bumper that's all around it. Golden Tiger! Ultra God Speed. Oh, but the cost is so high, though. Acceleration goes down? Really? Is there, like, a cost limit? Probably, huh? Probably stops me from, like, being too awesome right away. It gives me more speed, but the grip and balance go way down. Yeah. Yeah, picking colors. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pink. Yeah, pink car. Yeah, yeah, yellow tires. This thing is assaulting my eyes and I love it. <laughs> We're keeping it. Go limb tiger. Cause I'm souped up now. All right, we gotta see how the ultra godspeed gears perform. I'm just that good, eh? Enter a race. Yes. Let's get started. Uh, hey, everybody set? This guy sounds, his voice sounds like uh, anime protagonist. No, he sounds like a uh, Super Sentai protagonist. Beginner circuit. I mean, intermediate circuit. Oh, I see. There's a cost limit, and I'm right there. All right, let's try it. Gorim Tiger. This will test our friendship. I sense determination in this challenge's eyes. Can Kazuma Kun emerge victorious here? Our remarkable Kazuma Kun is in the green lane. Is everyone on standby? Go get a late start. Everyone to the. How do I start? Wait, I'm behind! Booster! Whoa. Ah. It's going too fast! Jeez! Holy crap! Ah. No! Come on, Tiger! My car goes way too fast! Wait. How could I? How can I even stabilize it with, with with parts like that? The parts are too good. Let's watch the replay. I'm like, oh no, I'm falling behind. <laughs> Oops. Why are you zooming in on those knees? What are you doing? Stop. Uh, I feel like balance is important. Let's see what happens if I just don't boost. Maybe just like the natural speed is enough to catch up. There's not anything I have to do to get it to start, right? Yes. Yes. Wow, look at those knees. Don't look at those knees. Little Racer's Cup. The pink golem is ready to roll. Oh, 
Kazuma-kun's a tournament regular. We'll take Lauren's victory. Tournament regular. I have raised a total of two times, sir. Yes. I'm not boosted. I'm not boosting. That's too much, man. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm falling behind, though. What am I supposed to do without boosting? Okay, at the very last second, I'll be like, oh my god, super boost, and I'll just like lap them all. Can I like only boost a little bit at the time? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I did it! I did it! I'm sure first! This is working! This is working! They can't catch up to me! I'm actually gonna win! Yeah! 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 Oh! Photo finish! No, wait! Oh, this is the last lap! Oh my god! Can I boost again? No! <laughs> Dang! I get one good boost. I think if I boost early enough, I will be able to reset my gauge. But, wow. That was intense. I need to figure out, like, oh, here you don't be so upset. It's just game. Why you have to be mad? I feel like I can do it. I just need the boost like right away. And just hope I stabilize. There's not really anything else I can... Like I could make a... I should probably try to make a car that's more attuned to my cost limit. But the Ultra Godspeed gears cost so much. <laughs> the build of your car matters a lot. Oh yeah. I bet. Like, obviously the game wants to be balanced, so you can't just slap in the Ultra Godspeed gears and, and let it rip. But hell, if I'm not gonna try. Friday drag racing baby, let's go. I really like the the dragon cart mini game in Yakuza 7 though. Like it's just a legitimate racing game. Who's that gate? All right, I'm actually not going too fast. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna refill my gauge. It's gonna happen. I got all the other laps to go. This is it, this is it, I feel it. Come on, Golden Tiger, you can do it. The race enters the second half. Go, Golem, go! I'm, I'm losing my lead, they're catching up. Oh no, I don't think my gauge is gonna refill in time. They're coming! They're coming! Shoot! Guy right behind me is... Oh, he's catching up! Oh, he's gonna make it! Just two more laps! Two more laps! Hold it, Golem! Hold it! Wait, what am I even supposed to do other than watch this happen? I can't boost! No! Alright. We can't cheese this. Hey, new record, though. All right, all right, all right. Oh no, okay, 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 hold up. I have an idea. The last track has a five point increase in cost limit. So if I go buy parts, just like five more points total of parts. How do I, how do I buy the parts? I have to go to that desk over there, but they, I don't see a path to get there. Oh, I'll just go around here. Yo, gotcha. I can't do the gotcha, come on. Shenmu could do the gacha. 
I should check that slot car shop again at some point. Okay, I'm actually confused how to get to the slot car table. How to get to the, the shopping table. I don't see a path up there. Was it an option with the guy? Uh, no, that's just using the parts I already have. I'm confuzzled. Just, just step all over the all over the racetrack, Cosma. Like it's fine. They'll rebuild it later. This is harder than finding the Ginza line in Persona Five. Like what? <laughs> Like how? Oh, I can look from here. They're selling slot car parts. Maybe I'll check it out. Oh my god, his eyes. This is what we have in stock. What would you like to buy? Reminds me of the freaking dude from uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. You know, Frank saw it. Or maybe Frank did it. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Hmm. I'm actually not sure how I would change up my car to win because it's already super fast. It's already too fast, but it needs to be faster. Lower chance of running out the track with less slowdown on corners. Huh. I feel like that's just what I want, though. Because if it's a lower chance of running off the track and less slowdown, it just means it's faster. Hmm. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Ba, ba. Alright, we got the speed motor, and we're gonna get the metal frame. I'm doing it. I was worried that the parts would cost more, but they're like the same. Gotta tweak it. This is like when you tweak your car stats in uh, F-Zero. Except without without the that those little slider, you gotta do it yourself. If Yakuza was any more realistic, they'd have me like take a little screwdriver and then <laughs> disassemble all the parts and put the frame on myself. It feels like this just makes the car worse. Improve stability without slowing you down much, but slows you down on corners. Ow. Less ground friction makes for higher speed. More speed! Speed motor. I'm getting like wave race vibes from this song. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna suck. I'm gonna try it once. Just once. Yes. 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 The rookie's race, baby. With my Golem Tiger. Race it. This course knocks racers right off the track. Everyone's taking precautions, right? No. I'm just gonna like jump off of that slope and just go straight into the ceiling. The rival has an 80% victory rate in pocket circuit. Our Rocket Bubble Cosmo 2 is in the front lane. Alright, I think the strat is just like boost at the very end. 
Oh, wait. I'm just fast now. Hey! Wait, this is good. Jeez. Ah! Ah! No! My gauge, though. Oh, that's not good. I'm not going to have enough gauge to stabilize it. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. We can just sit pretty. Wait, this is working. Wait, this is working. Wait, this is working. I started in the perfect lane. Now I don't have to balance it right now. Oh, this is going to suck. I'm scared. We're only halfway through. We're not even halfway through. I'm surprised that Golem Tiger isn't flying off the rails again. I don't know what I did, but I think I perfected my car. Look at this! I don't have the boost. I'm just winning. Bounce is supported. I have two boosts, I don't even need them. Fast forward! I'm just winning! I'm just winning, y'all, let's go! Do I get cocky? Do I boost at the very last second? 11. Come on. The fact that the slopes are right before the end, though. 12. I gotta boost right before the second slope. Go! <laughs> I am the pocket racing king, baby! Golden Tiger. A new record! <laughs> Bask in the glory, Kiryu. Enjoy it while it lasts. Kazuma Kun, you're in good form again today. Uh, thanks. Nah, nah. Hey, fighter! Huh? Oh, it's you, Takuma. What's up? Takuma, isn't that the name of the guy from Initial D? Are you really a virgin? Where, were, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> now that's a tricky word for someone your age. I'm impressed. Why? Wait, hold on. I haven't gotten this plot before. You get this plot after you win your first race? But no more saying words you don't know the meaning of, okay? Promise me! Mm. Fighter seems pretty good at dealing with kids and dodging questions. But I know what it means! It's when you've never gone out with a girl before! Okay, that's not what it means. Uh, not exactly, but close enough, I guess. Anyway, where'd you hear that word? From Hideki-kun! Hey, Hideki-kun! That's another kid! Mm -hmm. What, Takuma-kun? Jeez. Guys out here getting called a virgin by two little snot-nosed brats. So you're the one stirring things up, huh, Hideki-kun? You should know better than to use language like that! But my mom said so anyone spending so much time with Pocket Circuit at your age has gotta be a virgin! That's very... unkind of your mother to say. Anyway, she's wrong! Virgin! Virgin! <laughs> like a virgin! Pocket racing for the very first time! <laughs> no, I'm not! Virgin! Virgin! Poor guy looks pretty miserable. Kiryu, you wanna say something? You wanna speak up? Kiryu's not a virgin. I don't think so. Like, he literally tells uh, Ichiban in Yakuza Infinite Wealth, he's like, Oh uh, yeah, I've been around the block a couple of times, you know. I need to clear this mess up or we'll never get back to the pocket circuit racing. Or we'll never get back to the racing, that's what's important to him. Tell them Fighter isn't a virgin. Uh, I know personally. <laughs> Don't worry about it. 
<laughs> Tell them virus is a virgin. <laughs> Join the chant if only that was an option. Fighter isn't a virgin. Uh huh? Huh? Uh, huh? Really? Uh, yeah, Fighter is super cool. I bet he has girls throwing themselves at him all the time. Why would girls throw themselves? That sounds dangerous. Well, you know, they put too much speed in their gears and they just kept flying off the track. <laughs> anyway, if a cool guy like you says so, I guess I might have been wrong. Sorry, baby, baby, fun of you, fighter. Yeah, we're sorry. Oh, no problem. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm just glad you understand. Okay, now that's cleared up, let's all get back to pocket circuit. <laughs> all right. What was that all about, man? Don't listen to some kids. They don't know better. Thanks for that, kazuma -kun. Oh no, we have friendship now. Yeah. This was a social link event. I can feel it. My bond is growing. Now whenever Kiryu fuses personas, they'll have w plus one speed. Don't mention it. Keep your chin up, huh? kazuma -kun! I know you defended me, but what the kids said about me... It's true. I don't have any alcohol in me. That's what virgin really means. Uh, oh, I see. The pocket racing arcana. Social link, go! Well, it happens at different times for everyone. It's not like it's a race or anything. Oop, race. I'll be 30 next year. Oh, getting up there, huh? Cure you! Oh. Yeah, you can only call yourself a late bloomer so long. And though this time, I'd have never even held a girl's hand. It's pretty shameful. You gotta put yourself out there, man. It's easy. Still, I guess that's what I get for being the pocket circuit fighter at this age. No wonder the kid sees me. The logical choice would be chariot. Actually, yeah. Because, you know, usually the chariot arcana is something dealing with sports. And then it's like, either chariot or strength. But when it is sports, it's like, yeah, you know, speed. It's about getting better. It's about like fighting to like improve. Hey, you have plenty to be proud of. Huh? I kind of want to make like every time Kiryu gets a friend here, I want to see what their arcana would be. Like like a uh, stop and search police officer. You would be justice arcana probably. Your talent is being able to see things from a kid's perspective and enjoy the same things they do. Not everyone can do that. And I think you're just fine the way you are, fighter. You have nothing to be ashamed of. kazuma -kun! I like this crying animation. Haha, <laughs> this won't do! I need to pull myself together! I hope his plot line is that he goes on a date and then they like... His girlfriend gets really into pocket circuit and then they like... They live happily ever after. That'd be really adorable. I'd love that. I feel a lot better now thanks to you, kazuma -kun. I'm done feeling sorry for myself. Uh. Good. Hang in there, fighter. Thanks. Hey, come back for another race on time. I look forward to seeing how you do. Hey. Now that's pretty wholesome. I can't wait for uh, Yakuza Infinite Wealth. Oh, it just kicked me out, huh? What if I wanted to race some more, though? Like, even Yakuza Like a Dragon uh went through so much effort to make even the little sub stories feel way more handwritten and first class like you can tell it's just like oh they're just talking over text boxes but the animations are just that much bit better in like a dragon and they kind of craft the situations and camera angles it's just so much well done yakuza it's like masterclass in reusing assets in a smart way. Like, it's the same map for most of the games. It's Camarocho for, like, almost all of the games. And yet, it always feels new and different in each one. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, I need to go to, uh, Theater Square. That's where the plot is. Remember the plot? Have I tried Ishin or no? I have not. I have it, though. I don't know if you were there for that, uh, Isaac, but there was a uh, promotion with uh, the Shinsengumi chain of ramen restaurants. And, uh, you know, there are a couple in L.A. I think they're pretty much all in L.A., actually. And uh, 
they were giving out free coasters with a special Ishin meal set. And I collected them all. I have all of the Yakuza, or all of the Like a Dragon Ishin coasters. All the not Kiryu and not Majima. Bottle of mystery liquid? I don't like that. What is this mystery liquid? Drink it! Drink it! Dude, that might have killed him. What if that was antifreeze? You know? Bottle of mystery liquid. Ew. Alright. Let's see if we can find any leads. Ah, oh, there, there it is again with the popcorn ice cream store. I don't understand it. Look, there's burgers in there. Something about behind theater square, I guess. Let's see. I know it's got quote unquote karaoke in it, though. What's going on here? Hey, please help. We're just getting to the good part. Don't even think about butting in, dweeb. You call me a dweeb? I'm not a dweeb. I'm a geek. You should go home before I get real. Why don't you go home before I get real mad? What can you do against all of us? Waste this narc! Get out of here, lady! I cut these bikes like instantly turn into physics objects. Get Tandemon, son. It was a stupid idea. We won't do it again. How can I thank you enough? Take this. A slightly battered platinum plate. You know people just walking around town with plates? Hey, okay. How is like a dragon Ishin? It's... Oh, Pop Door Man! I forgot about this guy! Sorry. Harko Hooligan. Yikes! Oi. Hey, you all right? Huh? Eh? Figures I would bump into some swaggering punk. Hey, that swagger's got swagger. Oi, oi, you an old man. This isn't going to end well. Old man, I'll have you know I'm in tune with the kids. I pocket circuit race. I just won a tournament. Folsey Fantasy. You change your name? Well, come on in, Folsey. How you doing? Are you all right? Uh, no. What's the big idea, yo? I'm sorry, uh, watch where you step, shit for brains. You're not hurt or anything, are you? Asshole. All right, if that's how you want to play this out. What? I'm so sorry, no! I mean, uh, I'm in a rush, see? So, uh, please get lost, you punk ass so-and-so. If you look at his head, like, his forehead extends into the pompadour. Like, his head is just shaped like it's a column. Wow. What just happened? Damned Yankee. Yankee Doodle went to town, eating some bologna, put a pompadour on his head. And uses so much gel. That hair. Squidgy Cube, how, how's it going? Hope y'all are ready for a nice Friday. Ishin's really good, sword fighting's fun. And you get a gun! Don't forget the gun. Hey, Pompadour. Story is filled with the entry that's standard across all the Lucky Dragon games, including pretty good side missions and mini games. I, uh. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know who's watched me play uh, Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, but you know how Soseki Natsume is in that? Uh, apparently, Soseki Natsume is also in Like a Dragon Ishin, and the whole thing is like he's getting drunk because he's too depressed to uh, write his books. <laughs> so, like, Not Kiryu has to inspire him and get him back on the track to being an author. 
So I like to think that every media that has so sexy, so sexy Natsume in it is just canon, and it's all just a crossover. We're just gonna have uh, Naruhodo just just going up and meeting with uh, ancestor of Kazuma Kiryu and just like swapping katanas and just like being like, "Hey, how you do it? I'm I'm also the ancestor of an important character." <laughs> so sexy Natsume. What's going on? This is a rough looking crowd. <laughs> Amped Yankee. Oi, I'm so freaking stoked, man. A rare street show by the Yokoichi Silvers. Uh. Two right is, guys, a rock and roll gods. Look at this bitching crowd. They drew all these punks that any ads or nothing. Crazy Kyo and the Yokoichi Silvers fucking rule. And keep your pants on, but I heard that Yokoichi Silvers are gonna hold a QA panel too. <laughs> No effing way. They're famous for never saying a word and letting their music do the talking. I wonder what the hell they talk about. Sounds like some band's doing an event here. Must be popular with the local punks. Yeah, they're all punks, so they're British, apparently. You know, like spider punk. <laughs> that hair. Is that? Don't forget the gun. There was the Prey Stars. Use Brawler style in this game the most. And the basic sword in that one. Your combat creativity is low. I feel like I'm going to be the same way, but with Rush style. I try to switch back to Brawler every time I want to do something with an item. But I just fall back to, Bra to Rush every single time. Do you always save at phone booths in Yakuza? I forgot how I saved in Like a Dragon. I think you could just save anywhere in that game. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at these people. Holy cow, what are we gonna do? Oh. Hey, you. Yikes! <laughs> Gee whiz, pal, I need me peeled my... I mean, uh, what are you doing? Chuff the rod behind me, you ugly knob. Uh, yeah, sorry. I thought I should apologize for bumping into you earlier. Oi, who? Oh, you're that man. No, I should be apologizing for my own careless... I mean, whatever, piss off. Uh, uh, sure. The stare down. Eh? Huh? Are we making more friends today? Wait a second, could you possibly be unawares of who I am? Yeah. Huh? Are you asking if we met before we bumped into each other? If we did, I don't recognize you. Yeah. Oh, wait a second then. So you really don't know who I am? Willikers, what a relief. Willikers? Huh? I'm sorry, I was rude not to introduce myself. Name's Kyo, but my stage name is Crazy Kyo. Oh, you're from the band. I'm the vocalist in the band. Let me guess, the Yokomichi Silvers? J Willikers, bub. The same band those young punks there are excited to see? Aren't you guys some kind of legendary Yankee band? Ah, uh, now I need to figure out what Yankee is. I guess it's the whole, like, Japanese, British, punk-style dealio. That guy's just sitting in a puddle. Like, isn't he, like, afraid he's gonna mess up his shoes? Yes, that's us! We're doing a street show here later! Oh, sorry to bug you before your show. Okay, bye! <laughs> Good luck. Whoa! Where the hell you think you're going, old man? Oh, wait, please, sir, don't go! Hmm? Huh? Maybe, maybe you can save me. Save you? Nani? Isn't this where those punks were sitting? What? Are you even hardcore in the slightest? Nope. As a joke, we tried dressing all punk at a show. To our shock, we got pretty popular with the Yankee crowd. But now we have to keep up the charade full time. Over time, we gained a fan base of wannabe punks, and the Yokomichi Silvers became heroes to the rebellious youth of Japan. This whole style is called Yankee now. I'm looking it up. Yankee Aesthetics, from the Aesthetics Wiki. Yankee consists of young men and women who dye their hair blonde or orange, wear trashy clothes, and smoke, drink before they're out of high school. They are famous for being loud, rude, and refusing to take part in the strict manners of Japanese society. This subculture flourished in Japan in the 80s and 90s. Yankee could be recognized by punch perms or pompadours. Oh, punch perm being like the, the standard Yakuza hairdo, huh? 
and then like uh, Ichiban tries to get one and then he's like oh now I've got like this this stylish afro ah. so what you're saying is Kunio Kun got it mm. huh. there's more to running a band than I thought He's sponsored by Vessi's, the premier brand that can survive no matter the weather or situation. You can get a discount with my code at checkout. The shoes? So, what did you mean by me saving you? I, uh, actually, uh, I, uh, I, I want you to teach me how to be a hardcore hooligan. <laughs> now he's possessed by JFK. I don't make the rules. He's got the same pompadour. Nani. Did I update my model? Looks different. Oh, well, you know, I have a stylish pompadour now. What's up, cutest? Teach you to be a Yankee. Yes, you see, for today's event, we also have to do a live panel. A meet and greet for the fans. But every member of the Yokomichi servers, myself included, are a liar by inquiry boys. We've never even shoplifted. If we were to talk in front of the real Yankee, they'd realize that we're phonies. Fake punks, eh? Now that you mention it, what is this song so funky? I like it. Oh, it's got some cowbell in it. The way you talk doesn't match how you dress at all. Right, so if we spoke to our fans, we'd lose all our credibility and popularity in an instant. Or worse, what if they want revenge on us for fooling them? Okay, but do you have to do this panel thing? Why don't you just skip it? <laughs> I don't want to do it either, but our agency says we need to hone our speaking skills if we want to stay popular. They're making us do this. We've been avoiding every situation where we might have to uh, talk instead of just reforming. But now... Got it. So you want me to teach you how to behave like a Yankee so you can talk like one. But why me? Yeah, what does Kiryu have to do with any of this? Nine times out of ten, when somebody says my model looks different, it's because they've never seen it without a hat. <laughs> and usually when I have a hat, it obscures the eyebrows. So people just don't realize that my model has eyebrows. Ow, thank you for throwing evidence at me. Have you updated the autopsy report? Wow. So now that I have eyebrows, you're like, wait, why does it look so weird and wrong? And how come he could do this? It, my model doesn't want to cooperate today. Manuka brows. Why? Uh, well, that will be because you're my ideal of what a hooligan should be. That confident demeanor. Your razor sharp glare. The barbed wire attitude that says, touch me and get cut. And yet you also exude a sense of kindness. A guy who extends a helping hand to the weak. The hooligan with a heart of gold. That's my ideal Yankee. Well, yeah, I am Yakuza. Kind of. Used to be. Ex-Yakuza. Wow, in both of the Yakuza games I played, we play as ex-Yakuza. <laughs> Thanks for the sus, Isaac. You can teach us we won't blow our cover. More than that, I think you can give us Yankee wisdom that will propel the Yokomichi servers to new heights of hooliganism. Please, if we lose this chance, the Yokomichi servers may have to break up. Uh, please teach me how to carry myself like a true Yankee! Okay. I, I can't guarantee I won't tell you to punch plates, though. And, uh, bring erasable knives. Okay, then. I'm not sure how useful I can be, but I'll try. <gasps> really? Thank you so very much. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't catch your name. It's Kiryu. Okie dokie, Kiryu-san. Give me just a second, please. I'll go get the others. How come the others don't have to put on a freaking pompadour? And the one on the right just looks like Matt McMuscles. Sorry to keep you waiting, Kiyu-san. This will not do it all. This is our drummer, Sleazy Tarashi. Hey. hey there, I'm Tarashi. My stage name is Sleazy, but I have no experience with ladies. Never even seen a boob. Damn, I feel bad for this guy. It's the 80s, you can't just look it up. And this is our bassist, Bad Boy Aku! Foolish Samurai! I'm Aku, Hobby carry, hobbies caring for elders. 
And this is Kiryu-san, who's going to impart the ways of true Yankee-style hooliganism to us. Please teach us, Kiryu-san. Hmm. You guys are so polite and proper. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything I can do for you. Oh no, please don't say that. We're all pretty good guys at heart, so please help us. In your case, being pretty good guys is the problem. But I did agree to do this, so somehow we have to turn you guys into hard-edged punks. <laughs> oh yes, please. Don't like how I said that. Hmm, how can I show you guys how to be tougher mm. though? Mm, well, maybe you could come up with an opening remark for little old me. Yeah, first you punch them with the left hook, then the right hook. Then you enter rush mode and go for the two combo. You dodge, you duck, dive, duck, duck, dive, weave, and dodge. I just know how to fight, I'm sorry. But hey, that's pretty yonky, right? Hearted punks with a cute teddy bear baseball cap. I think that's a cat that says rock. Your opening remark. Yes, I want to kick off my panel with authority. Being hooligans, we shouldn't come across as weak or hesitant. Please, you san I need a zinger of an opening line to set the tone. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. Start your engines. Hello, but in English. Yeah, you know, you gotta say it in English so that they don't know what you're talking about, but you sound foreign and, and, and rebellious. How about opening with hello, but in English? English? You really think so? I mean, a hooligan speaking English? Is that in Yankee style? I don't know, man. Yeah. I think it would be just right for a Yankee. I think it would start your engines is the right answer. Young rebels fail, fall hard for what's cool, and English is a language of rock and roll. Think about it. I like how Kiryu came up with this bullshit explanation right on the spot. <laughs> think about it. Their hero, the vocalist of the Okamichi Silver, speaks a language they don't know. They can't help but be impressed by those worldliness. Yeah, that doesn't sound right at all. <laughs> but do I have to keep speaking English afterwards? That's gotta be a challenge. I only know a few greetings. Uh, the same goes for them, though. If you sound like you know what you're saying, you can get away with it. I see. I'm not quite convinced, but I'll give it my best. Rock and roll it! Oh, oh, Kiryu-san. Question. Hmm? hmm? What is it? Well, the agency told me to tell the fans about how I spend my days off when I'm not rehearsing or performing. Mm. Your days off, huh? Makes sense that fans would want to know how their heroes live from day to day. Tarashi, how would you spend a day off? Well, I make a habit of getting up bright and early so I can make some pancakes. After breakfast, I take my darling puppy Chibi Chan to the park for a mid morning stroll. <gasps> puppy! Don't say it's a puppy, say it's a raging bulldog that just like can't help but bite every stranger he sees. And then we have lunch at a chic cafe to rest our feet. On our way home, we do a little window shopping. And after that, I binge on the dramas I got on VCR until it's bedtime. Wow, this guy's living the life. Uh? Honestly, I'm a little jealous. You just described a typical girl's day. Hey, you know what? He's probably not a virgin. Huh? <laughs> eh? Uh, sorry. That really made you sound like a fashionable young woman. I was so surprised I got intense. <laughs> I... I'm... <laughs> so scared. Oh no, Kiryu-san. You shouldn't shout like that. You made Sisi Tarashi cry. That's a bit much, don't you think? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Should say sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, my bad, Tarashi. It's... <laughs> it's alright. I was just startled. I wasn't expecting it is all. <laughs> <laughs> so, how about when I spend the day off? Uh, yeah, right. You go shopping for the most adorable cat hat, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. One thing's clear, you can't tell the fans how you really spend your free time. Why not, though? No, I guess not, but then, what should I say? What would I be doing instead? Fighting all day, hanging with mites, rescuing puppies. Well, if I'm already getting it wrong, I guess I can rescue puppies, right? Oh, yeah, you know what we're doing? We're, we're hanging with the mates. Hey, bruv, governor. Hey, cool, blimey, eh? On your days off, so you spend having fun with friends. Having fun with my friends? That's kind of ordinary, isn't it? I mean, I already do that pretty regularly. Think about it. 
punks are people too. Ah, uh, this is also very wrong. I should have said saving puppies. On their days off, even they would want to spend it with their friends. Never notice them squatting together in parking lots. Uh, That's true. I see them loading around like you say, but are they really friends? Oh, I used the wrong word. They're not friends. It should be mates. Mates? Actually, when you put it that way, the Yankee factor goes way up. <laughs> there, see? On your days off, you hang out with your mates. Oh, you what? Actually, you and your mates just shoot the shit with each other. Say that and you'll be fine. <laughs> I kind of get it. I'm not sure what that actually means, but hanging out with mates totally sounds like what hooligans would do. Kiyu-san. Hmm? Uh, you're a bad boy, Aku, right? What's the matter? What do I say? Hmm. Aku, you didn't get a topic like Tarashi? Nope. The agency told him to wing it. He's free to talk about whatever. Even though he's practically mute. Bad Boy Aku even has a backstory. Locked up juvenile reformatories from birth. Bad Boy Aku crushed packs of punks even before he finished preschool. Before he finished, pre finished preschool? Maybe he was beating up those Yakuza that are dressed like babies. Hmm. Mm. Your agency's trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Aku's a man of few words with a crazy backstory. What's he talking about to make him sound hardcore? Just stay quiet. Don't say a single thing. <laughs> Don't you think it'd be better to just stay quiet? Huh? Stay silent during the panel? Wouldn't a discussion without any talking be a disaster? Yeah. Nope. Aku was told he's free to talk about whatever he wants. That means he's also free to not talk at all. I feel like I'm picking the worst answers, but well, let's, let's just go with it. This is gonna be the most Yankee band of all. Yankee Doodle. That... That's true. That's true, but... It would be worse if he were to say the wrong things and wreck his image. From Aku's backstory, I think he would seem more hardcore if he just kept his mouth shut. <laughs> just looking. When you put it that way, it makes total sense. Okay, we'll do that. Bad boy Aku stays speechless during his part. Sure, Aku, are you good with that? Okay. No, 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 you have to say nothing. Alright, now we'll go over how you run this whole panel discussion. Yes, please. Hanging out with mates, sweeping chimneys, telling tales of two cities. This is gonna be a disaster. I can feel it. Yokobichi Silvers, we're almost ready for you! Uh? Oh, is it time? I mean, uh, fine. Grah! Lag test, if you can hear me right now, type the number one. Oh, is it time? I mean, fine. Gra. Yikes. Sorry. One. Oh, that is 10 entire seconds. Dang. I don't even know. Why? For some reason, I feel like my streams in particular are laggier than other people's. I am so confused why that is, though. Yikes. Sorry. I mean, you can come on whenever you're ready. I'll be watching from the audience. Yes, please watch us. We're going to hit this hardcore Yankee thing out of the park. <laughs> We're going to kick ass and stuff. Uh-huh. Wah! The faces in this game just jump scare me out of nowhere. He looks like he really, really is trying to hold in a fart. And he's like, he's not sure what's going to come out. So he's just like, mm -hmm. yep, just going to just going to keep it right there. Hopefully nobody notices. If I just let it out during the stage performance, at the very least, nobody will hear it. Mm. Here they are! So put your hands together for the Yokomichi Suffers! <laughs> Woo! Crazy Kyo-san! Bad Boy Yaku over here! Whoa! Check out Crazy Kyo-san's original ESP guitar spoken red style! This man's got the Yankee look nailed! Wow, they are popular. When they're not talking, they do look like real greasers. Sopping wet high school, rock and roll after school. Tarashi, Aku, hit it, boys. They couldn't spend money for an actual song, so uh, you just pretend there was music. Yeah, here's the song they played. That concludes today's performance by the Okamichi Silvers. Just listening to their songs, I can see why Yankee kids across Japan look up the Crazy Kyo's band. 
Now we would like to move on to a special meet and greet panel discussion with the band members. Whoa, no way, no way! Crazy Coson's actually gonna talk to us? That's totally mental, mate! I can't fucking wait to hear bad boy Aku's voice. Yeah, you're gonna keep waiting. That's what they play? Got it. Here's where it gets real. They better pull this off. Huh? Yo, Grease Hounds! Hello, everyone! Rock and roll! We are Yokomichi Silvers! Holy shit! Crazy Kyosai can speak English? That's so bitchin! I'm gonna go totally mental! My god, that is totally authentic pronunciation! It drives me wild! I'm shitting bricks here! I'm fine, thank you! And you? Yeah! <laughs> Hello, everyone! Oh my god! Yes, the audience loves it. I can't believe that it actually worked. Using English was a good choice. Awesome! Thank you, Crazy Kyo-san. Next, we would like to hear from Sleazy Tarashi-san and Bad Boy Aku-san as well. First up, Sleazy Tarashi-san. Here's a question we got from a fan. How do you usually spend your days off? Rah! If I get a day off, I mostly hang out with my mates. We shoot the shit. With guns. A guy like Tarashi-san must have a ton of mates. Tarashi-san, what do you do with your mates? Huh? Uh, uh, uh? We, uh, we make pancakes and stuff. Rah! <laughs> out of people's faces. Huh? Oh, but we don't just stay holed up at home. We go out and uh, eat lunch at fancy cafes and stuff. That was the thing I told you not to say. Gosh, dang it. Yeah. Who is this guy? The fans are rattled. Damn, I screwed up. Look, how was I supposed to know he just fall back to the original? I should have covered more details with Tarashi. Thank you, Sleazy Tarashi-san. It's time for Bad Boy Akusan to say a few words. He just stood there for his whole panel discussion. That's... That's... <laughs> Holy crap! Wow, go on, clean. Give us nothing. <laughs> Bad boy, Akusa's the coolest. What a rebel. He doesn't play by the rules. Not even his own rules. That's what makes him Bad boy, Akusan. Heroes! Good. It was the right decision to not let the quiet Aku speak. After all, it doesn't take a big talk to make a big man. An attitude speaks louder than words. He definitely said a few words. Oh, baby. Hey, two out of three ain't bad. I'm actually surprised the answers I picked for the first and last were right. <laughs> look, do I look like I know anything about the Yankee? No. But I don't even think the Yankee know about the Yankee. Kiyo, you saw what you're watching? Yeah, I saw everything. Good work. Kiryu-san, we tried to aptly apply what we learned from you about the ways of the Yankee to our panel. We tried to aptly... <laughs> aptly them! The fan response was pretty darn good. I'm kind of shocked. Uh. Yeah, it seemed that way. It was worth all the effort. I think we can keep the Yokobichi Silvers going without sagging in popularity. Woo! Thank you very much. You got charismatic autobiography. All right, what does that do for me? Does it like teach me how to be a cool guy? That was the most fun I ever had speaking in public. Kiyu-san, thanks. From now on, we're gonna keep working hard to expand on what you taught us about the way of the Yankee. We'll work on our speaking skills too. Keep an eye on us, Kiyu-san. The Yokobichi Silvers are going places, just you watch. Uh. Yeah, give your best shot. Beautiful. We will! That is such- that is such shiny hair. Look at that. That is reflecting into my eyes. Beautiful. 
People sure have all kinds of challenges to face. At least those guys are diligent. They should survive the rough road of the entertainment world somehow. Don't give up, Yokomichi Silvers. I enjoy this con this quiet contemplation that Kiryu does after every side quest. Like, he tries to find the meaning in everything. Even though he's literally just like, helping people solve their problems. Kiryu's a good guy, he's a good egg. I'm already a cool guy, well thank you, cutest gamer. No you. I understand so much about the world now. All I had to do was be a pompadour chicken. See, I am the Yankee. The real Yankee was inside of us all along. But dun dun da 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 da. But dun da 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 da. Ba 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 do ba 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 ba. All right, I'm trying to find anything about Theater Square. This is where the the cafe was supposedly, or whatever. We need to find evidence that they were bought out by freaking the Tachibana real estate. Somebody around here's got to know something. I gotta admit, this place is hustling and bustling. I love all the NPCs. Never played the Dojima games? I did not. There's just too many games in the Yakuza-ish series that, no matter what, it, I've seen this like so many times across all time in the internet. Anytime somebody tries to start playing the Yakuza games out of order, even if they're starting Judgment, which is totally separate and technically is a different series, it all comes back to like, hey, but you should play uh, the Yakuza. You should probably play La Yakuza Like a Dragon first because it's in Yokohama. Oh, you should probably play Curious Stories first. You should start playing Yakuza 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And you have to play Yakuza 0. You have to start with 0. There's just no way. There's just no way to do it. I think the best way to play any Yakuza game other than Yakuza 0 is to not tell anybody you're playing anything and just play it. Because there will always be the ongoing crowd of people that are like, No, I want you to play Yakuza 0 first. <laughs> and I get it. I get it. But uh, after all that, I have not played Judgment yet. <laughs> anyway, Fokuzu! Can we get a shout out for Fokuzu? You have to go chronologically. See what I said? You know, we want to go chronological. We have to start with Space Harrier. That's what we have to start with. 100 yen in the 80s? That's, 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 that's a lot. <laughs> Give me a second. Leave me a second. Y'all, everybody, we have to do something very important for Fokuzu. Because today, of all days, <laughs> is his birthday! Let's hurry! Let's hurry up! Alright, here it goes. Y'all ready for this? Me, 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 me! Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Foxy, happy Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. To you, Fantasy Zone. What was that? Oh God, wait, I can't stop it. Oh, I forgot. Oh no. I forgot when you press it, it plays again. Birthday. Feliz cumpleaños, my friend. We'll celebrate with some Space Harrier. How about that? How do I, how do I put? Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. All oh, right, Space Harrier has like inverted controls. Why is it so loud though? Can I make it less, less loud? Ouch. I kind of don't want to play this anymore. Can I, can I leave? <laughs> how do I leave? 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 Oh! Get ready. Ready?
Ready. Many more battle scenes will soon be available. Ouch. Ouch. Hey, you know what? This is appropriate. Because Focus was playing Star Fox 64 to celebrate his birthday. I like... Hey, look, I'm playing Star Fox right now. Exactly the same game. Don't get it twisted. Sorry, I'm just like trying to figure out how to quit this thing. Oh, here we go. Quit the game. Yeah! Welcome, how's it going? <laughs> Did you have a good birthday celebration, Fokusu? What better way to spend it with your favorite chicken playing Yakuza? Well, thank you for coming on by. Everybody coming from the Fox Raid. If you don't know me, I'm a chicken and I play video games. Usually Nintendo games, but sometimes Sega games. And today we're playing Yakuza! Yakuza 0 to be precise. Because it is the way to start playing Yakuza, apparently. There is no other way. Like, not even starting with Yakuza 1. People get really upset if you don't start with Yakuza 0, even though Yakuza 1 technically came first. I'm like... Okay, just play all of them. That's the only way to win here. I'm trying to do some story plot. I'm trying to figure out, like, why Tachibana Real Estate is buying up, like all of the properties all over Kamurocho. And I need to find like the word on the grapevine. Ultra rocket frame, hell yeah. Problem is, I'm not sure where to see that. I just know I'm supposed to be around Theater Square. And I believe this is Theater Square right here. Yeah. So cafe somewhere, right? Right? It's like looking at your gameplay. Wow, same game. All the way good. Play Mario Kart 8 with friends. After finishing the routes, we start Star Fox Adventures. Now that is the way to do it. Star Fox, baby. Fox, you should start playing the uh, that leaked beta for Star Fox or for for Star Fox Adventures Dinosaur Planet on the N64. I think you'd like it. Clamity Kaiju, welcome on in. Don't mind me as I wander across Kamurocho. We'll we'll find some leads eventually. They did say behind Theater Square, but I'm like, where is the back of Theater Square? It's a square. There's no like front or back. There is all sides. Middle. Maybe over here. Oh hi. What's going on here? Sh badass lady. I like this badass lady. She looks cool already. Look at her jacket. I love that color scheme. People ask you to play the N64 game. Really want to play it? Want to see the previous life? <laughs> so, well, the interesting thing about that beta is that it is after they decided to make it a Star Fox game. So you still see polygonal fox and polygonal crystal and polygonal everything. But the game pretty much plays like the final game. I think people have patched it up since then to make it more stable, but like... It was pretty complete from what I already played, honestly. Prepare to love Badass Lady even more. Oh, yeah? Shut your hole, fat ass, and open your wallet! Oh, no. She missed Shakedown. Whoa, what? That's uh -huh. hot? What? Party boy. I tell you I can't pay. I'm dead broke right now. Don't give me that bullshit, Tubbs. Okay, you don't have to. I watched your sorry ass come out of that soap land last night. Oh, he's been spending money. What? Yeah, then you march your little buddies around from cloud to cloud drinking till dawn. Living pretty large for a broke guy, ain't ya? You respy guy, B? You got them right. You know how many different lenders you dicked over, pork chop? It's collection day, and your ass is getting beat. A female collections agent? Pretty unusual. Sounds like a real ball buster, too. <laughs> <laughs> she's terrifying as ever! Bacchus, she's one of yours? Bacchus, wait, she a friend of yours? So dance. So dance. Water. water, thank you for the hydrate. Oh, thank you for the water, this sweet quench and thirst quencher. Mm-mm, that's delicious. Oh, boy, howdy. You got that right, sure wouldn't make an enemy of her. That there's Miss Tatsu, the debt collector. She's a legend in Yokohama. Oh my god, why don't they ever show her in Yakuza Like a Dragon? Granted, it's like 30 years later. But you know, she can still kick ass. 
Miss Tatsu, huh? She takes on the job to make other collections boys run away crying. And she always, always gets the cash. Her style's bold, blunt, and brutal. Add that to a bulldog's own tenacity and you get one mean bite, my boy. Mm. You seem awfully familiar with her methods. Is the voice of personal experience? Ha <laughs> <laughs> you got me, boy. I was this close to getting my face caved in over a silly little dad a while back. Wow, someone who can actually get a debt out of Bacchus? Why am I not surprised? I'm not surprised about the debt, but I'm surprised that someone actually, like, out Bacchusing Bacchus. Hey. What have I done so far this stream? You've been AFK? Ah, uh, you know, I did some slot car racing, found out that the slot car guy's a virgin. Nothing wrong with that. And then, uh, we just came to try and find Tachibana real estate, but I am, I'm, I'm not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. Hey, look there, boy. You're about to see what makes our lady Miss Tatsu so incredible. Oh, also, I helped some pompadour guys. Yeah, <laughs> you think you can get money out of me? I'd like to see you try. Oh, no, he's got an erasable. Ha, <laughs> you boys and your tiny toys. You think your little butter knife there is going to stop me? Mm, it's an erasable, lady. Get it right. Drop the tough bag, sugar tits up with a dozen dudes in the hospital with this baby. If you have a tear state the apology ready for me, though, I'll hear you out. That's my line, sugar moobs. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's a good comeback, though. Set the part about hearing you out since you're about to be too dead. Now make your move. Ugh, pulling a weapon on a woman? That's going too far. I'm stopping this. I don't think you need to, Kiryu. No need, boy. Just wait. Mm -hmm. Huh? No blinking. No blinking now, boy. Keep those eyes of Miss Tatsu and... Showtime! Whoa. That's rad. Whoa. 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 I thought she just ripped his arms off. That's rad. You telling me that was all one move? What is this? I got a new style? I thought he was holding a chainsaw for a second. <laughs> Unleash the beast, Kiryu! Uh, something has unlocked deep within him. And you know what? I don't blame him. Whoa, those moves. <laughs> Looks like that beatdown gave you a few ideas. Uh. Yeah, more than a few. Oh, yeah. Fantastic, boy. I hope you're ready to put him into practice. Mm. What? Look over yonder. Looks like our bad guy here's got some friends. The drinking buddies, I see. One's just a business dude. Ah, uh, shit. Jin Kun's getting beat to hell. He paid the tab last night, so what say we pay him back by sucker punching this crazy bitch for him? Hear that, boy? Those dimbos are planning on getting the drop on little lady from behind. Uh, sounds that way. Lovely crowd. They're a perfect match for the sort of scum that pull a knife on a woman. Why don't you give him a little demo of what a man's supposed to be? And no saying this doesn't involve you this time. Yeah. I wouldn't. She can clearly defend herself, but there's a whole pack of them. I'm jumping in. See, he's just evening it out the numbers. Yes. See, by herself, she can take on, like, seven guys, but there's eight, so it's like, eh, you know, just plus one. Yeah, that's my boy! Keeping chivalry alive and working in a bit of fine bit of training in the process! Ha <laughs> ha! The hell do you want? Oi. You guys planning to sucker punch that woman in the back? You got an e-shopping problem? Damn straight we are! Uh, not with that loud shouting. You think I want that psycho bitch to see me coming? We'll drop her before she can get those claws out. Focus, I don't know if I've asked, but how many Yakuza games have you played? Have you played Judgment? I don't care how tough she is. You don't hit a woman. And needing a group to do it is pathetic. You call yourselves men. Uh? The fuck you say? See, Kiryu is appealing to their toxic masculinity. But actually, like... It's so toxic that it's, like, infecting their entire beings. And they can't resist the challenge now. The fuck you you say? You got a big mouth and a death wish, pal. Yo, we're driving this guy before we take care of the bride. 
Goon. New style? B style. By pressing right, change to that now. Press square near a large weapon showing a down mark to automatically pick it up and swing it. Auto weapon attack. Oh, I can't run in this style. This is interesting. I'm like tanking hits. I am getting damaged, but I don't get stunned. I can dodge though. Alright, come at me, bro. Using B style, holding L1 to guard lets you withstand enemy attacks with the resist guard. They'll take a certain amount of damage when you're playing attacking from any direction. Any direction? Both in your defense, but you can be your power to resist your with discards if you couldn't get any fine. I'm just like, hit me. Hit me harder. I want to feel something. Yeah. Yeah, give it to me. I can take it. I'm training under a waterfall. Use beast style moves to pulverize back cowards. Yeah, this definitely has its uses, I think. Like, if a boss is really attuned to rushing you down, and you just need to be able to tank the hits to get something in. I think, I think I'm understanding where all this different styles like really make sense. Like, Rush is probably best for one-on-one -on -one fighting. Uh, Beast is good for crowd fights like this, where normally the group of enemies would just stun you. And Brawler is just kind of normal, I guess. Oh, what is this guy? All of us beating on him, and it's like he doesn't even feel it. I like how just looking at that lady go beast mode just gives Kiryu the energy. Like, he didn't even see uh, Tatsu, like, tank any hits. He just, like, assumes that's how it works. It's a placebo effect. Let's go. You want more? Uh? Oh, I'm not leaving till I at least punch that uppity bitch out. What do you say? Well, well, if it isn't Parky's little friends, I saw you boys crawling the bars last night. Ah. Uh, but I must be hearing things. Because it sounded like you said something about punching a bitch out. If you're interested, this bitch is ready to go. No, ma'am. That's just crazy. What kind of man would punch a lady? And with a group? Well, so pathetic. <laughs> uh. Right. Now pick up that sad sack lying over there and get the hell out of my sight. I got what I came here for. Got no use for him now. Yes, ma'am. I like Tatsu. I like Tatsu. She's cool. Bakke, it's been a while. Yes. Same old Mish Tatsu, strong as a bear on bearoids. And I know it, it's supposed to sound like steroids, but it, to me it sounds like the bear is hemorrhoids. Ugh. I feel sorry for that bear. While Rush has very little item grabs, this is focused on grabbing stuff automatically. I like that. Because the problem I was having with Brawler mode was I would use it just to grab items. But it would always be while enemies were about to punch me. So I just get immediately uh, knocked down and then I drop the item. So like, why? <laughs> You're one to talk, old man. So, can you introduce me to my knight in shining armor here? What? Oh, right. This here's my latest find. A real diamond in the rough. His name's Aladdin. Uh, my name's Kiryu. His name's Kiryu. Name's Kiryu. Ooh. Hear you, huh? I don't remember the name. If you got back at singing your praises, you gotta be pretty tough. Yes. I, I fought like two Mr. Shakedowns. I'm ready to take on the world. He is. This boy here is a future champion. I'll stake my career on it. Uh, okay. Now I'm seeing what this is. You're thinking Kiryu here's your ticket to a fat stack of cash, which you'll then use to pay me back so we get to stay friends? I see. I see. This is the, the terms of their agreement. You want to say the role you found Brawler feels? Sure, like what, what do you find it use, useful for? I'd like to hear. Easy, Tiger. I told you it'd take a while, but you'll get it all back. Oh, and speaking of favors, why don't you train the boy here? Wait, what? Do I seem like the patient teacher type to you? Sorry, no can do. No. Nah, no, don't be like that. We both need him to get stronger. 
Once he's a champ, we'll be rolling in dough. Besides, I know you're secretly the doting type. You'll make champion a hell of a lot faster with you beating him into shape. That means you get paid sooner, see? Win, win, win. Boy. Bacchus is a really smooth talker, you know what? You know that? Like, it makes sense, but also, like, you're just getting other people to solve your problems for you. Bacchus, what do you think you're doing here, man? I like how Kiryu says, man. Like, he's not just super stoic. He's like, dude, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. Negotiating an apprenticeship with Miss Tatsu for you, obviously. Trust me, you're trained under her. You'll be master of the ring in no time flat. Huh? You're insane. I'm in seriously hot water right now. I don't have the time to humor your little fantasies. What? What? You're in hot water too, my boy? Are we talking knife in the ribs here? Eraser in the spine? Cause I warned you about that. I'll be lucky if that's all I get. And seriously, what's the obsession with me getting stabbed about? <laughs> that's true, he's like, you'll be stabbed in an alley. Look, look, I know all about erasables from my time in the producer biz. I think I know more than you. All right, chuckleheads, that's enough. Neither one of you is making a damn bit of sense. But I hear where you're coming from, Bacchus. This is championship talking. We'll just say you care about this Kiryu kid. If you're worried about him, own it. Stabby, stab, stab. Look, you did me a solid a minute ago. I can do this. Besides, the old man is right that my training will make a real man out of you. Hop a cab out to the pier sometime. I got a training space there. The pier, huh? You train at the pier? You got it. Kind of live there, too. Pay me a visit sometime. See for yourself. I think you'll like the digs. Anyway, that was my last job in the city, so I'm heading back to base. Here you. You, me, pier. Training. I'll be waiting. You got it. Bacchus, I've already got a future planned. It's already set in stone. I'm sure you've played Yakuza 1 through 6. I'm sorry, but I can't be your champion. What sport are we even talking about? Boxing? Not that it matters, I can't. Oh, I know that. Doesn't mean I'll stop trying. I know when to stop making the nuisance of myself. I'll give you some space, champ. It's about time for my afternoon drink anyway. Let me clear my head. Is it clear because it's full of alcohol 24-7? Good luck with that. Just don't have too many. Yeah. You think a guy called Bacchus can't hold his wine? Ha! See you around, boy. Keep those ribs knife free now. Get out of here. And thanks. I'll be careful. What a budding friendship. Well. Didn't expect to get wrapped out in that mess, but at least I didn't come way empty-handed. Now back to looking for leads on Tachibana real estate. I like this. It it makes you go behind the theater square because this is this is this is story plot. You have to do this. That means I'm on the right path, I think. Yeah, there you go. Now I only play Yakuza Seven. I don't blame him. I just love Dragon Quest. You know this Arakura game? I stole it from a little kid. But then we played the game together, and now I don't need to steal it anymore, so I gave it back. Rush hits weak and fast. Beast is slow. Brawler has the highest DPS. Ah. Okay, so if it's like... If there's a fight that for some reason matters in how fast I beat it, Brawler is probably the most efficient. But the trade-off is I have to get good at, like, dodging and everything, or else uh, I can't just rely on Rush. Hey there, buddy. Been looking for you. You again? You got a lot of nerve showing up now. What do you want? I think it's pretty clear what I want. Time to pay your protection money, pal. If you're doing business in Camarocho, you're doing business with us. To hell with that. It's not protection money if you don't show up to actually protect me when I need it. And you have the gall to ask for more? Yeah, it's protection money because they're protecting you from the Yakuza. When you need it? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Tachibana Real Estate. When they came and chased me out, you people were nowhere in sight. Some protection... Tachibana. What? Oh, Tachibana Real Estate? Yeah, they're, uh... Look, it's complicated. Complicated, my ass. You got scared and ran away. What could be simpler? S scared? Who do you think? Thanks to you, I had to relocate. Now I'm scrambling to get new customers to make up for all the ones I lost. I couldn't pay you if, even if I wanted to. I think you better keep that attitude in check, asshole. 
Mind if I cut in? Huh? What do you want? Who are you? What family are you with? I'm not in anybody's family. I'm an orphan. And pipe down. It's this guy I'm talking to. Let me beat him up. Excuse me? What do you want from me? Ooh, ooh, I can read that menu in the back. It says menu. And then it says, Prendo coffee. Blend, co blend coffee. And then it says, Kirimu, Krimu no, uh, Krimu, Krimu, Shu, Jiro. Jiro? Jiro? Cream Zero? Hawaii, Hawaiian Kohi. 750 yen for Hawaiian coffee? I'm not paying six bucks for Hawaiian coffee in the 80s. That's probably like, oh man, that's probably like 10 bucks. What do you want from me? Leave me alone. Ding! Ah! Akira, Akira, Akira. You say you opened up shop here because Tachibana Real Estate forced you out of your last location? That right? What do you want from me? I want, uh, I want your Hawaiian coffee, please. I'll take your finest blend. Leave me alone! Ah! There it is, y'all. Akira, my Blu-ray copy. The one I'm bringing to MGS Con to get Cam Clark to sign. I, I had to just pop it in the PS5 before stream and make sure it had the correct dub on it. And it sure did. It sure did. Akira! Kira! Kira! Also, nobody asked, but here... I finally made the weapons for my Gundam Aerial, and I just, I just really, I, I can't get enough of how good this thing poses. I don't know why. Like, just somehow, the way you can move the legs and the arms just, it's just perfect. Like, it's not even a master grade, but it's just perfect. Look at this thing. So epic. I need them to make a full-scale model, one-to-one -one scale, a statue of that. You say you opened up shop here because Tachibana Real Estate forced you out of your last location? That right? Oh, I see what this is. You're trying to be this guy's new muscle. Oh, hell no. What? Our family's handled this cafe's for protection for 30 years. You try and swoop it on our turf, it'll mean war. Hey, it's a good thing Q's not in any family. Looks like you need some convincing to stay quiet while I speak with the owner here. Shut your mouth and try me. I'll kill you. Hey, as long as he doesn't have a gun. Well, how about that? I have a brand new style just for you, baby. Yeah. Okay. Here, catch. Oh, it's just like the bucket. I guess anything that can go on his head. What's well, wrong? Come a little closer! Ooh! Die! 100 million yen in the bank, easy peasy. How do you even... Like, how, how many bills of cash would that be if you had 100 million yen? At the smallest, that would still be like a million single... Uh, wait, uh, sorry, hold on. 100 million, and then divide by, and then a million, and then divide by, uh, 100. That'd still be, like, thousands of bills. Like, how do you stuff your pockets full of those? What the hell? I'm not losing to some kid. You just did. Now get lost, and don't show your face around this guy's shop again. Man, all the young people call me old, and all the old people call me young. What is Kiryu? He's an enigma. Damn it! This ain't over! I remember this! Boom! Dead. There. Now we can finally talk in peace. So what? In the end, you're just taking this place as this guy squeezing me for protection money? Please, can you just leave me alone? Leave me alone! I already said it wasn't like that. I'm not even Yakuza. I just really want to talk for a minute. Blade Vancer, yo, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Do you have a... Uh... Anything planned for this weekend? That goes for everybody. I've got MGS Con. It's going to be great. I'm also celebrating a friend's birthday on Sunday. It's going to be great. We're going to a buffet and we're going to eat so much. We're going to explode. 
That's how you celebrate a birthday, y'all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Talk about what? Tachibana Real Estate. I'm doing a little investigation, and I'm like to tell you. I'd like you to tell me more what you know. Anything is fine. Playing Exo Primal? Hell yeah! Yeah, I hear it's finally out. Summoning Raptors. I'm still sad they never like did anything with that game and Dino Crisis. It's such an obvious crossover. Like, acknowledge it somehow. Capcom's gotta know they designed one character just like the main character from Dino Crisis. What I know isn't a hell of a lot. Besides, I prefer never to deal with those guys again. They're terrifying. McDonald, did you get the Grimace Shake? I'm pretty sure it's just gone by now, though. Terrifying how? What did they do to you? It's not even what they did. They just knew about me. Like, everything about me. Just like Tachibana knew about the me, the Kazuma Kiryu. They got the information networks. They know everything. Like what? My parents' home address, my daughter's school, where I source all the cafe supplies, who all my customers are. With that much Anna, oh, they don't have to do anything. It's just the threat of knowing that info. Like, man, it would be a shame if you couldn't source your coffee beans. Man, it would be a shame if your customers stopped appearing. Man, it would be a shame if your daughter's school blew up. I don't know. Jeez, that's scary. And to top it all off, they're not even Yakuza. At least with that lot, you know what to expect. I see. And where would I go if I wanted to meet the guy from Tachibana's office who paid you that visit? They're probably still there, finishing what they started. Still where? The Hakua building on Shishifuku Street. The place my cafe was in. They'd driven most of the tenants out, so the place is practically empty. But there was one stubborn guy who said the only way he's leaving was in a casket. And he's still there? Probably. They were making him all kinds of sweet deals, but he turned down every last one. If he's still there now, Tachibana's boys will be there too. Go have a look if you want to get mixed up with him. Alright, I appreciate it. Running them out of the Hakua building. Alright, I'm on my way. Yeah, you know what I notice? Um, the taxis in Yakuza 0, I think they're... They're for traveling outside. I don't think they're for fast travel. Or maybe they are. Let me see. Uh, Grimace Shake's gone. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm glad that I started buying my own frozen berries to just make some... Just to make some uh, smoothies myself. I might make one after stream. I don't know. I feel like Friday I gotta treat myself. I've got barely enough ice cream to make it happen. Quarter pounder deluxe McNuggies, hell yeah. And Sprite! Sprite used to be my favorite soda. Now my favorite soda is, um... Uh, what is my favorite soda? <laughs> I like that apple soda, the Manzanita Soul, but it's so hard to find. Uh, I don't know if it's my favorite though. I don't really drink soda that much anymore. Oh, yeah, I know what my favorite soda is, duh. It's Cactus Cooler. It's California exclusive, baby. You can only get it over here in California. It's that pineapple orange flavor that just, oh my goodness, I feel like I'm in the desert and quenching my thirst with some cactus. Okay, so you can fast travel. You can fast travel to other taxis you've been to, but you can also fast travel to other locations. Got it. Ace Attorney versions of the Dino Crisis characters did show up in the anime. What? Oh, as like background characters, right? Probably. I wonder if like Capcom told them to do that, or if the animators were just being cheeky. Like, who's some Capcom characters? Let's put them in the in the in the crowd. Uh oh. Uh oh, I gotta fight. I can't avoid them. No plans for the weekend. Final Fantasy 16, Pikmin 3. Ooh, what is uh when is Pikmin 4 coming out? I need to remember to pre-order it. If you pre-order it, you got a free water bottle. And I, I keep forgetting. I wanna get that water bottle. I need one. I'm, I'm using like uh, an Animal Crossing water bottle right now. It's not exactly the most uh intact. Like it's it's been washed a couple of times, it's like peeling now. It's that water bottle that got famous on Amazon.com because it was, like, rising in price to insane amounts for no reason. I need to buy more healing items. Next week. Alright, I need to buy that. 
I'm not really gonna play it, but I want that water bottle. Okay, where's the nearest uh, Popo? Vincent, bar with pool and darts. Uh, Kanurai, genuine Korean barbecue restaurant. Earth Angel, Earth Angel. I don't wanna go enjoy erotic videos on stream. Uh. Alright, looks like Kotobuki Drugs Shrine. Oh, I should go to the shrine. I haven't been there yet. Uh, quick detour. Favorite soda be Mountain Dews, which provides a classic you love. Do you like any Mountain Dew flavor in particular, like Code Red or Baja Blast, or, or just like the classic Mountain Dew? I do be liking Baja Blast. And the food you eat it with makes you get Baja Blasted. That's for sure. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Oh, where's Maharaja? If I pass by it, we have to dance. It's Friday night after all. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, 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 bum. I'd be like, check out this water bottle I got. It's so good, it came with a free Switch game. Yeah, 60 bucks. Yeah, you know what's a steal be. compared to the thousand dollar Animal Crossing water bottle? Can I sell? One of the anime exclusive Ace Attorney cases. Oh, oh, I'm not gonna read that. I wanna watch the Ace Attorney anime. I haven't uh I haven't I haven't watched it yet. I I I I watched like a little bit of the first season, but I, I really wanna like watch it all, maybe like as a as a as a Discord less watch. So I'm just I'm just gonna like uh skip that message if that's okay. Uh Sprite or Root Beer? Root beer's pretty good. I love root beer floats. Look at the achievement list. The achievement for watching an erotic video is I did it for the achievements. Yeah, that's what I did. Exactly what I did. Yeah. You understand me perfectly. I'm gonna buy a couple of toughness double Zetas. Uh, I understand what they're for now. The fact that you only have limited inventory space means you... You can't really just stock up on just the small ones. Stamina. Okie dokie. I'm gonna go to the one of the restaurants around here too. That Korean barbecue restaurant though looked pretty choice. There's also a beef bowl over here. Ramen shop. Oh, I need to hit the shrine though. I can't get too distracted. If I remember what's at the shrine, a certain somebody's waiting for me. <laughs> you know, after McDonald's stopped their uh, whole happy land, you know, Grimace was able to find new work with the Grimace shake. But, uh, Ronald McDonald is falling on some hard times. It's me, Bob Utsunomiya Zero. Guess what I have for you? Okay. <laughs> sure. Bob Utsunomiya, the clown. Matter to Voltage, your favorite. Still produced. Live Wire Code Red Bob Blaster, Tier A. Come back to you for the rest. Fair enough. Dragon of Dodijima. So, Thank Twig, you're saying you have watched the erotic videos, huh? I see. Just yes or no answer. Would they be safe to show on stream? <laughs> probably. Like, honestly, the honestly they probably are, because like, there are some like really mature games that people watch on Twitch. But you know. You haven't watched them, so you didn't do the achievement then. Got it. Dragon of Dojima outfit. Modified model gun. Master Ball! Sarong. What's Sarong with you? A stone of enduring. 
To change your outfit, use the phone in your hideout. It only works in premium adventure. And if you had the Dragon of Dojima for Soden Bori Fun Pack, though, you're only getting this one, so good. Take good care of it. Uh, Kamurocho Fun Pack. Dragon Tattoo Outfit. Toughness Emperor. Tarina Plus Plus. Damon and Royale. Go play. Give me all the clown. Give me all the clown stuff. I need it. Pocket Circus Starter Pack. Judgment Outfit. Judgment Outfit? Extra Balanced Motor. Oh, from the song Judgment. Not from, like, Judgment the Game. Extra Slim Tires. Boost Gear. Speed Frame Plus. Slide Stabilizer. Stun Gun. Stun Gun? Photo Blade Prototype. Photo Blade Prototype? Sacrifice Stone. What are these items? I'm getting all the DLC, baby. Give me the Pocket Circuit Expert Pack. Lord of the Night Outfit, Godspeed Motor, Super Slim Tires, Godspeed Gears, Ultra Rocket Frame, Marlin Cannon, Diamond Plate. What's going on? Do I have too much stuff in my inventory? Uh, I'm gonna eat a... Uh, uh, I'm gonna eat a... A Toughness Z. Oh, it's just sending it. Uh, let's send the Mega Drive stuff toy. Uh, that might not be all the items, but I'm full up, so let's just see what else we can get. Their side story is tied to the phone club, so maybe that's an off-stream thing. DLC, pre-order stuff that came free in the localized versions. All outfits can be used till you beat the game once. Aw. So that's what he said about, like, premium. I guess. Gotta go fast, level one. Oh, here we go. How many CPs do I have? 26, hell yeah. Money magnet, get more enemies. Uh, shit, I'm really taking a nap. Nouveau rich men start appearing above town. I guess this is like money stuff. Business, quick collection. Resist time it takes until revenue is ready for collection. Oh, right, there's like real estate stuff in this game as well. Let's do longer dashing because I just, I just like that. Card watcher? Dash without getting tired. That's a lot. Let's get money magnet. I just want more money in general. Oh, I'm almost out. Sure, card watcher. I'll get more... More of those special cards, I suppose. Weapon. Oh my goodness. Infinite gun? Infinite gun fish? This cannon is designed in the Marlin streamlined form, more powerful than its superior suggests. I'm equipping fish. Uh, amulet. I want strength to endure, one critical attack, and live on shatters. Save you from the brink of death only works once. Admits a sound when a telephone card is near. Charismatic autobiography. Hey, that's pretty good. Defense, blade, firearm. Those who see it are likely to attack you and try to take it you from you by force. Sure. The sarong. Ooh, that sarong is pretty good. And uh, the card watcher. Sure. Curious about the stun gun. The photon blade is up there. Is Kiryu becoming zero? Yeah, I mean, this is Yakuza 0. Do you expect anything else? What, you're telling me a game a game that has, has zero in the title has doesn't have you play a zero? Mega Man Zero. I want to go to the Korean barbecue restaurant. Hell yeah. Go, here you go. Go, here you go. Oh, the Marlin. Take out the Marlin. Whoa! Jeez! Stop! 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 What is this? I can't... I'm getting... Stop! Go away! Leave me alone! I can't move! I just need to, like, get away! 
I hate these guys. Kodobaka. Jeez, stop, 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 stop. I was trying not to heal during this fight because I want to go eat, but oh my god. Cool, cool. I might have to go beast mode for this. I'm trying to block it. They don't let up. Yeah, this problem would kill you a lot. I did kill one of them. Why? Jeez! What are these? What are these enemies? How come they're so different? I took out the fish. The fish did nothing. Do I even still have the fish? I have the fish. I was so excited to use it too. Let's go to the Korean barbecue restaurant. Can you feel it, hungry? <sighs> yum yum. Y'all want some? Y'all want some bulgogi? May I take your order? Oh, beef tongue though. If y'all have had beef tongue, it's actually really tasty. It's the taste that tastes you back. Great a salted tongue. Hey, these prices are actually pretty expensive. Oh, we got the tri barbecue. Look, look. You haven't lived until you've had beef intestine, like, at a Korean barbecue place. Because you know what happens? They, like, it, it, it like, fries itself in its own fat. And it becomes these, like, little calamari rings of intestine. And they're just really good. <laughs> Is it literal tongue? Yeah, it's like cut from a cow's tongue. <laughs> you hope other Yakuza games fix that issue? You get stun locked the raw as Kiryu? I guess. Like, I'm sure there's more abilities you can get. You know what? Speaking of, I need to remember to invest in myself. I keep forgetting. That's a thing. Because now I have... I'm just rolling in dough. I gotta spend money on B style stuff. Here, like, oh, oh, wait! Don't tell, don't tell me, Mister Shakedown uses B style, because this is the charge. This is the charge that he does. You won't be staggered by attacks below a certain power level. I I needed that for that fight just now. Give me that. Charge attack. Increases power of regular attacks and heat actions. Well, let's look at the other ones, the other trees. Yeah, solution is just upgrading. It makes sense. I just kind of forgot I had more money again. Reduces damage when thrown. The mighty knee. Put up your guard again at the enemy. Breaks through it. I like being able to attack from guard. I might go for that. But that looks expensive. 100 million. I can't even afford it until I get there. But I can't afford it now if I already had it. Heat gauge will rise when you taunt. What? Why does it say increases the action power of your regular attacks and heat when using the brawler style? But it's in the... Oh, I'm not in rush. Damn it. I keep doing this thing where I assume... I'm in the skill tree for whatever's at the top. No, no, no. That's just the what I'm in right now. Here we go. Rush style. Phoenix spirit. Boys over time when you're wounded. Only fill to the second bar. Vain enemies attack just for it lands, causing the shatter fist against the wall behind you. Triangle with wall behind you. Wait, that's awesome. That's red. Faint punch, quick step, blow. I kind of want 
these two. I have to spend my money wisely. But I also want... Wall. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. I have 30,000 to... I have uh, 100,000 to... Sp yeah. I have 100 million to spend. Uh, let's get these two... And we're gonna upgrade Beast a little bit as well. Takato, how you doing? Welcome on in. We're investing in ourselves. We're eating money. Catch an enemy off guard with a straight punch. It's, so it's R1, then a movement direction. X, then triangle. Oh, so that's right after quick stepping. I like that. You know what, this is funny, but I'm gonna hold off on that. We're gonna get the cheap stuff for Beast. It's only like 400,000. Two million? Nothing. Might as well, right? Think you're having trouble with QU's playstyle? You have no issues with other character. Oh, uh, you know, you gotta do some breakdancing, you know? Reduce the amount of heal loss when you take damage to enemy attacks. Uh, yeah, that's gonna happen in beast mode a lot. Boost maximum health. Might as well get the cheap one. Oh, it does make the health bar longer. Just a little bit, though. Boost attacks in heat mode. Triggered when in heat mode. Reduce the amount of heat loss when you take damage. I'll just get everything that costs just two million. I got the money for it. Even the health. I mean, why not? I, I feel like I need it now. I've gone long enough. 30 million? Wait, how come it goes from 400,000 to 30 million immediately? That's lame. Uh, I'm good for now. Cool. How am I doing on health? Alright, we're doing good. Doing good, how are you? Oh, you know. Just enjoying my time. Alright, let's try our new moves. It's gonna be a, a busy weekend for me, MGS Con. Up these guys again. I think with these guys, I just have to watch them and pay attention. Like, they are rush style, basically, as well. I can't let them combo me. I can't just, like, mash square. I have to look at what they're doing. Oh god, he's bleeding! Yeah, okay, this is a lot better. It didn't help that the last fight was in just a crowded alley. No, this is what's gonna happen now. There's just enemy variants. What's the deal with this guy? What's the deal with you guys? Jeez. I just ate, now I have to eat again. Dun 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 dun. Not different from the HP of Tears and Kiwami. Yeah, I haven't played Kiwami, but. Uh, Kiwami upgrade grid is the certain pathway to the speed of six tiles. It feels like, yeah, that's what I thought when I first saw it. it said it would be like the uh, the sphere grid in uh, Final Fantasy X. Hold on, hold on. I need to go back to the Korean barbecue restaurant. Common Rider, what Korean barbecue should I get from the Korean barbecue restaurant here? Not in real life, but here because I need to heal again. Common Rider, hold on. Let me give you a shout out. Because you don't shout out yourself. 
and I have to tab out of the game, the and it becomes quiet, and it's awkward, and it runs the risk of the game crashing, but you know I do it for the shout outs, cause nobody shouts out in my chat. How you doing, Sleepy? Welcome, welcome. Sir, didn't you just eat here 20 minutes ago? Yeah, I only had one meat. I didn't know you are supposed to order more than one. Kimchi combo? Oh, do they have those rice cakes? I want the rice cakes. Where are those? I don't think they have them. Ooh, Kalbi though. Harami. Seafood platter, kimchi combo. Bibimbap. Oh, they got bibimbap? I, I, I really like it when Korean barbecue restaurants also have like the little bowls. It always feels bad to order though, because I'm like, I'm here to stuff up on meat. If I order the other things, then I'm wasting money. At the same time, they're included, so why would they be any less valid to just get bibimbap? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dun -da 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 -da. Thank you. Thank you for shouting out yourself, Worst Company. Had to deal with some trash. Ah, that's how it goes. All right, Common. Just for you, I'm gonna get the spicy beef soup. Because I feel like... I feel like that's something that you would get, Common. Because the spice <laughs> is so nice. This is tasty. Ah, tasty. If y'all follow Maddie on Twitter, oh, that's Raspberry. She found a little frog in the grass. And David Hayter replied to her tweet like, but how does it taste? Like, there you go. That's how you know you've made it as a Metal Gear Solid fan when David Hayter responds to your frog asking to eat it. And then she, today she posted, like, a meme about a frog, like, holding your hand. Like, do not worry. Frog is here. And she posted the, a message about it saying, yeah, this would be me if David Hayter didn't eat my frog. <laughs> no, not the frog's legs. It's a delicacy. Looks like this is the place Tachibana Real Estate's been trying to buy up. Finally, plot. No business signs. It seems Tachibana's boys love to, to the rumors. But why do they need it? Namase Bar? Guess they're the last holdout. We're just gonna walk by these dudes. Yeah, no. One of these is just Nanba in disguise before we ever knew him. Don't eat the frog, David. You don't know where it's been. Hi. Do I have to say the password? What time does this place open? Cool. Guess it's open now. Just flip the sign. Oop. Hi. Who are you? We're not open yet. I'm here to ask you a few questions about Tachibana real estate. Sorry, sir, I don't know what a Yakuza is. Sorry, sir, I don't know what a Yakuza is. Look at the detail on their faces. His forehead's just like. さっき言ってた人生一家ってのは。登場会の4時団体で登場の店の結末してた。ああ、切れたもんだよ。
baby. That's why you can't leave. The wife hasn't left the back room because she doesn't have a character model. She's not allowed to show up. Hachibana gets pays the homeless guys to just lower the property value? That is low, man. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to fight in this bar. Only five or six? Hey, as long as it's not those guys with the sunglasses. I'll talk to them. Wouldn't it really suck if I was actually part of Tachibana? I was just like working with them just to let them in. Very trustworthy. Here you is. Wow, that's a flashy shirt you got there. Oda. どうすか。立ちの木の剣考えてくれました。うちは出て行きませんよ。ね、生瀬さん。こんなヤクザに耐えるとあとが怖いですよ。ヤクザ。あんなヤクザ。はい、ニコールは肩着の人間だが。この店の用心棒と思って。We're all about board here. それより今日はちょっと預かってきたもんがありましてね。マンニ。これ。人生一家の親分さんからです。That's you shook down the Yakuza. How did he do that? The hell? Oh, 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 oh. Milk money for the baby? The baby does not need two million yet. I'll take one million of that off your hands. Bribing. I mean, is that enough money to just get a new place, though? That's true, but Namase, you know what? I'm empowering him. The fact that I'm here. Man's going full charm. Oh! Paper cuts. I feel dirty now. Hey. Wait, he's taller than me. Shit. You're making the baby angry. この物前で親の顔にさっさば叩きつけるのが立場の不動産のやり方か。そちらさんも人様に説教垂れるほど真っ当な人間には見えませんがね。6 <笑> 
いいお返事を期待していますよ。Are they just gonna leave? But I want to fight them though. He would get so much done. I'm not a big fan of the world. 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 I use those bills. I, I, I get those bills from playing Pocket Racer. That's my other hobby. See, now he wants the money. You get so much done just by looking angry. So he was gonna leave anyway? Wait, what was all that bullshit about your family? Do you even have a baby? Is that just a recording? Damn. Here you just help this guy out. I guess it just goes to show that nobody's like totally innocent in the Yakuza world, though. I mean, he's smart. <laughs> if everybody gets. If Tachibana always gets their way, then it's like. Anta, hey, where'd Marita, all your other buddies go? Home they stopped getting paid? This is the only like truly homeless oh, guy then? After the next so job, they so told us this one's all done. I guess they're all truly homeless. It's just like. What about this guy? Oh no, there's lots around. Tachibana Sao's got his fingers in all sorts of pies. Ew. Guess what kind of outfit is Tachibana real estate? I don't know why you're asking, but you shouldn't mess with them guys. They're the very shadows of this town. That Barno lost all his dignity in one action. Hey, but money though. That buys a lot of Gundams. Where's that shit? They're scarier than any Yakuza. Eyes and ears in every corner. They've just got the most deeply ingrained information network somehow. I got a finger just like Kuze. It reminds me of how the, 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 the gummy jewel are all like surveilling everything in Yokohama. These homeless people have scheduled assignments. Hey, it pays the bills. They gotta have people on the inside. There's no way. I think they'll be fine. Kiryu has six more games of strife after this. Plus a half one and another half one. A real estate company willing to make an enemy of the Tojo clan? The owner of Cafe Blend may have been right about them being worse than the Yakuza. I still want a bit more info. Hopefully I can track down those other homeless guys. In this neighborhood, I usually see them hanging around Park Boulevard. Find the homeless men! Yo, it's nighttime. Can the cafe owner not look so sleazy when he picks up the money? I think he doesn't have a baby. I think he's just like playing a recording in the back room so that people hear his sob story. <laughs> like, you're not allowed to see my wife. She doesn't have a character model, please. You saw nothing. Ooh, maybe there's food in the bar. With the darts. No group is entirely innocent thing. Does remind you of thing you found a bit odd about Yakuza 7's first parts? Like, what do you... What, uh, what specifically? These guys again! Are these like the only enemy type now? Come on, man! If there wasn't three of them... Hey! 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 Hey!
When it's down to just one, I can handle them just fine. I, I feel like you just have to do these guys in rush mode. There is no other way to fight them. If I didn't have the ability to attack right after dodging, I don't know how I would get a punch in. Baby's character model, tape recorder. Right, right, because it has to be uh, analog because this is the 80s. All right, I gotta eat somewhere besides the Korean barbecue restaurant. Kiryu's gonna get like a heart attack. From all this greasy meat. I say that, and I just go to a bar. And, oh, some bars might have healthy food. You get it because it's the family where Ichiban came from. The vibe seven has how has started has how heavy I'm making the Omi looking so villainous as a whole while Tojo family seems the fully heroic faction. Yeah. What is that sound? Oh, there must be a card near. That's why I'm like beeping the hell. It's very annoying. <laughs> there it is. I hate that sound. Jeez. Well, I guess I should just keep the thing on because there's no way I can ignore cards if they're gonna make... If they're gonna burst my eardrums like that. I like this art. It's looking at me. Omi Alliance. At the same time, like, well, I, yeah, the whole thing is that, like, the, the Omi are ticking over the Tojo, huh? Or something like that. I forget the story of Yakuza 7. Everything relating to the actual Yakuza, I only remember Ichiban himself. Play darts? Let's, let's do it. There are multiple dart games? I played darts at a bar in Japan. Uh, I just did one of those automated machines so that I could just, like, read the English instructions. But even if you go to, like, round one in Japan, the arcade, there's entire floors dedicated to just darts. Like, you wouldn't think. Opponent, I'm going to play solo. Reduce your score to exactly zero. Sure. Set that as your ringtone, then I'll just never want to get called ever again. I'll just set it to silent. The value of sections you hit is deducted from your score. Gold or zero. Bullseye and double bullseye over 50. Going below zero is busted. Busted, busted. It becomes your opponent's turn if you bust them and your score back to what it was. But I'm solo. All right, let's try it. Hey. Like darts, uh, toggle scores. Okay, throw power. Game on. Yikuze. <laughs> Yikuze. Round one. It's like I can draw with it. I can make a star. Yup, 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 yup. Wow. If somebody traced that out, it would not look like a star at all. All right. Oh. Huh. Oh, this is pretty easy, actually. <laughs> Low ton. Yosh. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm gonna go for. Huh. Twenty. I'll go for a bullseye huh. again. Go for a bullseye again. Hmm. That's not bullseye. 110. Hmm. Oh. Okay, okay. We go for bullseye again. Hmm. Oh, I went too far. Let's go for 220s. Hmm. Right there, we are right there. Huh. 
<laughs> yeah, baby! I am the winner. Low ton. Oh me, oh my. I hope you enjoyed the game. Is this your first time in the bar? Sometimes darts are just a thing. Let me give you these. Standard darts. Cool, I can probably throw these at enemies in the field. I hope so. Just keeping darts, that's so weird. Just free darts. Cool, what a bonus. Uh, you can't actually order food at this bar, or can you? Oh, you can! Tell me they got chicken wings. Oh, they got whiskey. Oh, it's all just drinks. That makes sense. Yes, the Macallan, 12 years old. The Glen Fittich, 12 years old. La Froig. I feel like they're just making up these. <laughs> they're just making up all these. Yeah, let's get some rum. It's only 500. Probably a shot. Rum is made from sugarcane juice that has been boiled down until its sugar content crystallizes into molasses. It's graded by color and flavor, both of which vary on how it's made. This one's a gold rum, which means it's a medium body. It's perfect for cocktails, and with its wallet-friendly price, you can enjoy it grilled free. Be careful, rum-based cocktails are sweet and delicious, so it's easy to drink way too much before you know it. Thank you for the lesson. Dame dane, dame yo, dame nano yo. Drunk. No thanks. Yakuza Slice of Life win. I feel like every Yakuza game is automatically a slice of life. Just Kyu's day to day goings on just result in him going into such interesting places and meeting such interesting people. Yup, oh, somebody's in trouble. <laughs> Buy the sunglasses, guys, again. I swear, this is why. Is the game trying to tell me something? Look, they were immediately trying to punch me. I'm, 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 I'm stuck in the alley. I need more space. Let me try something with brawler style, actually. Alright, that didn't work as well as I hoped it would. Alright, back to rush style. Marlin style. Does this actually, like, fire anything? Whoa! It definitely works! It feels a little fishy, though. I'm in a corner. Kaboom! Sorry, I won't do it again. Thank you so much. Please take this. Toughness light. You're guessing those guys are all Tachibana. I bet. Don't tell me that's all I'm gonna fight from here on out. Maybe it's like Metal Gear Solid 5 where they change your enemy types and add like different statistics on them depending on how much you've been relying on certain strategies. Smelly homeless man. Yo, you got word of any good jobs? Car pulling homeless man. If I did, I'd be doing it myself. Speaking of, I hear Sakusa just got back from that gig for Tachibana Real Estate. This guy's hair doesn't look real. You serious? Lucky bastard. You think he'd cut me in on that some of that if I asked him? 
Who knows? Psych can't hurt the ass, I guess. He's probably over at Public Park 3 with his buddies. Almost got over for Tachibana. Public Park 3. Man, this just feels like Shenmue, where you're just going from info to info. I'm gonna train with uh, Tatsu at the pier. I wanna see. MGS4 having a different PMC each chapter. Yeah. Maybe. This is the Tachibana chapter. I am literally at the pier where Ryo works at in Shenmue. I wanna drive a forklift. Come on. I can go fishing. Easy starter. Cast your line, X to cast, start pulling, uh, press X to pull. Find out about using bait, use fishing arrow. Info. Let's start it. It looks like a Wilbo raid. Welcome on in, everybody. If you don't know me, I'm a chicken. How is it? How is it? Oh, you know what? I haven't even mentioned. I apologize for not having uh, raids enabled this week. Uh, I disabled them last Friday just for Ghost Trick because I was finishing that game. And even though I know for a fact I set it back and pressed the save button, I think Twitch just like reverted it or something. So uh, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. I thought I thought I was just I was just like not getting raids. Thanks for the raid, Wilbo. How you doing? How's your face? Miku, thanks for shouting out, Wilbo. Are oh, you playing the Splatfest? What uh, what team are you on? Depending on what you answer, we might not be able to be friends anymore. Of course, of course. You picked strawberry ice cream, right? Right. I I'm I I don't know if I'm gonna have ch a chance to play the Splatfest. Like I guess my one chance will be Saturday night. Because I'm going to MGS Con tomorrow, and I'll be just busy all day buying Metal Gear Solid related stuff and sneaking around. Uh, are you going, Wilbo? I know you expressed some interest, but I got my Kickstarter tickets and everything. I am so excited to go. Sneaking machine. Yeah, because it was pretty good. We're just going fishing. Here we go. We just gotta, gotta fish. I don't know how fishing works, but I'll just, uh... Patiently watch to see if I get a bite. I don't think. Oh, wait, there's fish shadows, just like Animal Crossing. Oh, I thought there was just like details in the water. Oh, yeah, I can see the fish. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, this will work. Come on. Come on. Come on. This will not work. Thinking Sunday, but not sure. Sunday for what? Uh, MGS Con? I don't think MGS Con has a Sunday. I think it's literally just Saturday. <laughs> I didn't see anything that said it had a... Had a Sunday. Is it? Uh, that's what it seemed to say. I know you could get into registration today. But I think it was just registration. I don't think the con was today. Thought it was a two-day thing. Yeah, they're still pretty small. It's like they're they're just getting started. Hmm. Hence that would be why like the passes are just like they don't have like specific day passes, they're just passes. Man, how am I supposed to know? Oh, I need to put bait on here, duh. Special bait. You like strawberry best? Green is your favorite color? Hmm. I do not know how this is supposed to work. Are these fish coming or...? I think that one on the left is getting closer. No? Oh, I would like a fish, please. You think fish is like chicken? Absolutely. Hmm. It probably, like... You could probably, like... Oh! Bait a shark with a couple of pieces of chicken. <laughs> Go! Not hooked. That was not good. I don't... It says pull when the red mark goes underwater. I don't know what the red mark is. I'm colorblind. I actually literally am colorblind, though. I guess the top of that line... Fish, please. 
fish, please. You could say it was off the hook. I guess I'm not getting cooked. Hmm. I can kind of see the shadows from here. I'm not leaving until I get at least one fish. Hmm. Hmm. Please, it is so specific. Am I playing with the controller? I sure am. Is this, uh, is this minigame better hmm. with a mouse or something? All right, well, they just don't like, they just don't like my rod. Please. Does it have vibration? Ah. Yeah, it did vibrate a little bit. I just wasn't sure, like. I'm just going off my Animal Crossing instincts. I'm gonna go for the big fish back there. Maybe they'll still be there if I cast again. It's so hard to see, dude. Maybe it's literally just because I'm fishing at... at nighttime, or at sunset. I can't even cast that far back if I wanted to. Look, it doesn't even let me. Hmm. We'll see. No, I can't even reach. All the fish are outside of there. That's so lame. I already have the bait. Do I just have to wait? Am I just not being patient? Hmm. Welcome to fishing, everybody. Yeah, but Wilbo, uh, did I did I did I miss you? Say whether or not uh, what team you're on. Dun dun da 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 da. You went with your favorite flavor, mint chip. That's fair. Come on, come on, come on, buddy. I can't tell where the head of this fish is. The easy starter rod has like the shortest reach. Uh, hmm. Well, next time I'll go buy another one. Look, I'm lit. Oh. I see. There! <laughs> Not hooked. It was vibrating. Is it is it gonna be like Animal Crossing where it literally just like goes boonk, like right under the water? Hmm. Ooh. It went too deep, so... Wait, so I wanted to go between those two lines then? I could have sworn that's where I had it the first hmm. time. Okay... I'm understanding this less and less. Is there just also an element of... luck? Like, even if I put... Even if the water is at the right level, it just maybe it just doesn't. I think the fish are gone. <laughs> what happened? Oh, my bait isn't active anymore. I'm upsetty. I'm upsetty. I'm gonna go talk to Tatsu now. What is going on here? Hello? Oh, it's a dummy. <laughs> I thought that person was just ready to square up. The top part is also not red. Got it. I didn't I didn't know which parts were red in the first place because I'm literally colorblind, actually. I, I'm not even kidding. I'm literally colorblind. I was just kind of guessing. I was trying to get it between the two lines the first time, and it didn't hook. So I guess I was just wrong timing. Or maybe there's a luck factor. So that's why after the second time, I'm like, all right, well, just go until the second line goes under the water. Maybe that's red. 
I'm Suleta Upsetta. You mess with Suleta, you get the Beretta. This Beretta specifically. That's a big Beretta. <laughs> uh. Ah, Kiryu! So you showed up after all! Yeah, I got curious about the training you mentioned. That he remembered. Can't trust a word that old drunk says, really. Hey, I'm not like him. <laughs> oh, relax. I'm just messing with you. Shall we get started? Uh. Sure, I'm all ears. Bow, bow, bow. What is this? I'm punching the boxes? My training method is simple. Just grab it if you can. Swing it around and throw it until everything is smashed to hell. It's just like that one minigame in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Sounds like just taking your frustration out on things, but I guess there's got to be more to it than that. Does this help you impound furniture when you go collect? Mm. Pretty much. It takes muscle and explosive force to grab heavy objects and swing them around quickly. This gives you the oof you need. Uh, I see. No taking your time with it either. You have to be under pressure as it's a real situation or there's no point to the mm. training. A real situation like when collecting a death? I, I guess you're pretty used to a rough time. Don't act like you don't know. I'm even calling you to help me out sometime. Huh? You want me to go out and collect for you? Just like Kimoji, I'm just like doing jobs for them. Let's not jump any guns here. First I want you to do this train to get a feel for it. Got it. Start with a primer, this way. Hey! This feels like a Splatoon single player level. Like cue the bang, bang, bing, bang, bing. The mannequins are filled with play money, burst when you collect them, the boxes of money in them too. You have to smash all the mannequins four times rest and amount of money you get to start. All right. Uh. 120 seconds. Just say two minutes. Bang, bang, bing. Bang, bing. Bing, 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 bang, bing, bang, bang, bing, 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 bang, bang, bing, bing, money. Oh, I see how beast mode's supposed to work. It's like. Because you're always pressing square to attack, square is a grab button now. So you're just likely to automatically grab things as you fight. Oh, dropkick! Oh, you can't charge them? But they have money, of course you can charge them. I got plenty of time. You sure? Give me the big box. Give me the big box. You sure? Oh, baby, one nil. What do you think? Pretty tough training, right? Yeah, I haven't done anything like this before. And the police officers just kind of watching us do this. Like, yeah, those boxes were slated for destruction anyway. It's all stock that fell off the ships. And we we're like, we can't be damned to sort it, so just get rid of it. I'll make it even harder next time. Uh, be ready. Great. By the way, I'll have to ask you to pay if you want to keep going with this. I can only do so much charity uh, work. Hey, you know you gave me a million yen. Probably pays for itself. Wow. Tell me a story, complete tense of stories. Uh. One more. One more. Uh, never mind. I suddenly lost interest. Not even. S that's the target, not even the price, but still. Hello. Are you elected to return to Camarocha? What is this, a personal driver? Is he gonna drive me on the forklift? I'm going to go to Park Boulevard. The extra requirements in between all these training sessions is incentive to space all these moves you're learning out throughout the game so you don't just get all them in a row. Yep, okay. I see they're now a taxi driver. Bang, bang, bing. Bang, bing. Bing, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, bang.
Where was the objective? Can I get like a... Can I get like notes on the story right now? Notebook. Uh... Oh, right. I remember if you just stand still, Kiryu's like, I need to do this. Advise me, Kiryu. Advise me! So these homeless guys have done work for touch. I was pressing X to skip it, but like I skipped the whole thing. Fine. You know what? I want to say first. Yeah, it's kind of weird to see payphone, payphone like phone boxes now. Something about like they're just in the middle of the sidewalk. Whereas usually sidewalks would just be like free for walking. Why he waits outside his car at the docks? Good question. Public park three. Got it. Wherever daddy is. Da, 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 da. Ba, ba, ba. Obviously, it makes sense to put a uh, a Yakuza game in Kabukicho. Shady Man. Hey there, want some mushrooms? Um, no thanks. Huh? Mushrooms? <laughs> I've got great ones. Guaranteed to put a smile on your face. What you say? Mushrooms that'll put a smile on my face? I do like Super Mario. Sorry, I'm not interested in that sort of thing. Come on, why not give them a try at least? Hell, you won't find viral mushrooms anywhere. Yeah. No, I'm good. Go ask someone else. <sighs> I see. That's too bad. Next he's gonna say, these mushrooms make you really good at fighting. Ah, uh, yo, is it sure you sell the mushrooms, eh? Heh <laughs> yeah, a customer. What kind of mushrooms are you looking for? Uh, I've never done them before. I don't know much, so can you recommend something? Heh, <laughs> it's rare to find someone new to mushrooms. All the ones I stock are great, but let me think. How about the Noki mushrooms? They're in season now. He's just selling, he's just selling regular ass mushrooms? Yeah, no drugs here. All above board. Here, you want straw mushrooms? How about shiitake? Enoki? Enoki. <laughs> I get it. You give him regular names so nobody catches on, eh? Smart. Mm -hmm. Eh? But Enoki is Enoki. What do you mean? Why are you peddling your mushrooms in the middle of an alley? I'm looking for the kind of mushrooms that'll make me feel good. Well, my Enoki mushrooms are top quality. Eat them in the app pot, you feel good, all right. Huh? You make it fun of me because it's my first time. Watch your face rearranged. No, I am not making fun of you, and I do not want face rearranged. Wait, this mushroom dealer. Oi. Hey, that's enough. I get the feeling this guy is not the kind of mushroom dealer you're looking for. Huh? I don't care. I do ask you anyway. Fuck off. Wait, hear me out. If you're not gonna shut your mouth, I'll shut it for you. All the games have this portion at the start where you get used to moving around towards the information. I mean, it makes sense to me. Sure. Nice. You know, I just realized that these enemies have health bars just like Mr. Shakedown and all the bosses. I've just never, uh, I've just never fought them long enough to pay attention. <laughs> what the fuck? This guy's ridiculous. He just wanted some shrooms, man. Uh, thanks for helping me. Yeah. Well, I was just defending myself. 
No, you're a lifesaver. Can I ask your name? Kiryu. <laughs> Kiryu-san, eh? Here, take this as my thanks. You got enoki take. Mushrooms. So you really do sell regular mushrooms, huh? <sighs> That's what I said from the beginning. My mushrooms are guaranteed to put smile on your face. Mm. That's exactly the kind of taunt that confuses people. Look, you know there are mushrooms that make you hallucinate when you eat them, right? If you sell mushrooms in a shady part of a town like Camarocho, people are bound to get mixed up. Why don't you sell them somewhere else? <sighs> eh, hey, it's just... What, did Tachibana Real Estate put you out of business too? Is there some reason it has to be Camarocho? I want as many people as possible to enjoy mushrooms. Tokyo is the best place to find lots of people, Camarocho especially. Well, you're not wrong about that. I've only just started out. If I pack up and leave now, it'll feel like I failed. I want to give it a bit more time. Mm. I see. Well, I won't stop you. Be careful, though. Hey, <laughs> you are kind man, Kiryu-san. Thanks. They call me Kitajima, the shroomer. For magnificent mushrooms, Kitajima's your man. See you around then. Okay. Friendship. Wow, what arcana is this? The shiitake arcana. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the dream machine now. I can't play the dream machine. Wow. No, again. I'm just, I'm just tired of fighting these guys, man. Wait, wait. I want to try if this works. I can't. I stop, stop, stop. I'm trying to use the attack where I charge out of the guard, but these guys are not letting me do a single thing. Jeez, man. It has to be rush mode. Stop it. Come on, come a little closer. I'm trying to do the thing where I dodge and immediately counterattack. I am. I am. These guys are just impossible. Enjoy the lurk. guys seem faster than normal i don't i've been fighting these guys non-stop for every battle for some reason i don't know if they're just part of this part of the game or 
the game's trying to tell me something with the way I fight. I cannot do anything but fight them in rush mode. I think the game is saying I have too much money. Maybe they're trying to get me to die at least once because I've gone too long. I'm too good at the game. I'm like fighting Mr. Shakedowns every chance I get. Getting so much cash from him. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I need to find a restaurant. <laughs> Yeah, there's some restaurants here. Oh, there's a Mr. Shakedown right there. Oh, and there's a calling card. I just need to duck into a restaurant real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Here. There's a bill in Congress to release info about UFOs. I mean, it's just like... I'm sure there's nothing that interesting. It's all like, wow, here's a picture. Wow, here's another picture. Wow, there was like a little bit of radiation detected. I guess I'll sit over there today. This is Barstar Food. Nihilistic man. Word of advice. You better not sit there, buddy. Huh? Is the seat reserved? Something like that. Besides, why hide in the corner? Come on over. Let's lift a glass or three. Kamurocho undercover. Uh, sure. <laughs> you sure can pound him. Looks like you can hold your liquor. I'm here for food. <laughs> yeah. Looks like you can hold your own in a fight, too. Mind telling me how you make your living? Mm. Uh, that's a bit of a problem right now. Where does Kiryu get money? Now that he's not a part of the Yakuza. I, I do like how in Yakuza Like a Dragon, they actually had to address that. K Ichiban actually having to get not just a job, but jobs, and then they became his job classes for fighting. <laughs> hey, you don't have to say if you don't want to, just, you know, curious. Yeah. No, it's not that. It's a little complicated, but I had to go straight recently. I had to go straight, huh? So, uh, yeah, it's July. <laughs> Everybody loves kung fu fighting. Oh no, it's one of those guys that fight. Tuffyman, thanks for the raid. Can we get a shout out for Tuffyman? Boss man, the usual. Hey. Of course, right away. That's the seat I was just. That's the reservation. Is that the reservation we're talking about? All right, let's go. How's it going, Tuffy? You having a good night tonight? Thanks for coming on by. Thanks for the raid. Y'all doing okay? Dragon Quest Monsters, Terry Wonderland 3D. Are you playing it in Japanese or is there a fan patch? I've always wanted to play uh, that. That's the remake of Dragon Quest Monsters 1, right? I am. I'm so down for that. I want to play Dragon Quest Monsters. Fan patch. Hell yeah. Is it complete? I want to play it. Uh, I played Dragon Quest Monsters 1 way back on the Game Boy Color when I was a kid. I never really got far in it. That was technically the first Dragon Quest I played. Ah, uh, if only I knew. If only I knew how good the main games were. Yeah, welcome on in, everybody. If anybody doesn't know me, I'm Chris. I'm a chicken. I play Nintendo games, but now I'm playing Yakuza. That's a Sega game, which is like one step removed from a Nintendo game, basically. We're, uh, oh, oh, my controller just ran out of battery. All right, uh, gonna have to switch to a different controller. Don't worry about it. I knew this would happen because I didn't charge my controller before I started to play. Oh no, wait. Oh, 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 it's like, it's like trying to resume, but it's not. Oh no, I don't think this controller works. I have to like have the controller plugged in before the game starts. Uh, we're just gonna go... It's like, wow, look, like, it's switching between controller buttons and then not. Alright, keyboard it is. I have no idea what the keyboard controls are in this game. I hope I don't have to fight those... I hope I don't have to fight those, like, super fast guys with the keyboard. That's the seat that was just... Shh. Uh, second game exists as well, fully translated. We end up more 30 minutes without having to finish this one first. That's fair enough. Yeah. If it's good, I might have to look into it myself. 
Yeah, I've been collecting some Dragon Quest games. I uh, started buying a couple when I started getting into Dragon Quest. I'm glad, even though I paid, I paid a lot more than I would have wanted to. The prices have only gone up, which is just sad. Retro gaming. There, there's a lot of articles going around right now on all the gaming news websites that, like, they're highlighting how just sad the state of games preservation is right now. And people are talking about, like, we need to start treating them like books with libraries and letting you rent them out. Like, and have ways to play them. Like, have it so that you could rent out digital ROMs and then just play them via emulation because the hardware is definitely just dying over time. We need... There needs to be a serious discussion around it. Because something like 87% of video games are no longer available to buy. So how the hell are you supposed to ever, like, see the history of a game like Yakuza when only the, the first two games are only available, like, on PS2? Like, yeah, there's remakes, but what if you actually legitimately wanted to play the first two? What if you wanted to, to actually play, like, the Sega Game Gear and Master System Sonic games? Before Sonic Origins came out, you wouldn't be able to until that official port. Like... Games preservation needs to keep happening, and there there just needs to be a way. There needs to be a sustainable way that isn't just like hope that companies put them out again. But I digress. Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest. Fan Patch of Joker 3, and it's out for now. Yeah. Mark Hamill's Majima, you know. But uh, yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, people say, like, yeah, it's easy enough to emulate. Like, it's easy for it's easy for our generation to emulate because we grew up with that stuff. We grew up with like, hey, download these Pokemon games. You can delete them on your computer for tw after 24 hours. You'll be fine. Uh, that's not how that works. But also, like, nobody's going to come after you. The, 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 the Today's generations are just like raised off of iPads and smartphones that don't let you like toy with the file system or download emulators unless it's Android. So that knowledge is getting lost at time. Technical literacy is like going back. It's going backwards. It's returning to monkey. And I don't know what we can do to like keep it going other than just keep advocating for open computer systems and whatnot. Not like walled gardens like Apple wants. I don't know. I could go on and on about tech, but we're playing Yakuza. We're playing Yakuza. Companies be like, don't emulate our games or that's stealing. Everyone, then let's buy them. No. No. Your computer probably can't handle emulation of newer games. I mean, like, even PS2. Well, PS2 is not new anymore. Yeah, everything PS3 and up, hard to emulate. But there has to be something, you know? We need to preserve emulation itself. Isn't that sad? <laughs> that emulation itself is becoming something that we have to... <laughs> that we have to preserve the forbidden technique written on the scrolls of ancient locked away within the caves of Linux Beautiful But uh Who knows who knows what's gonna actually end up happening. I know how to preserve games. I Just hope they stay preserved All right, my controller doesn't work Huh? You seem a little oblivious, so let me bring you up to speed. The guy who just came in? Whoa, don't look now. He's a mobster. Okay. Is that right? Huh? You're not phased in the least. I suppose that makes sense, you being ex-Yakuza and all. Wait, how'd you know that? From the information I pieced together, he waits there for customers to come to him and buy weapons! Weapons. Uh. I got a fish. Is that a weapon? Yes, it is. Guns smuggled in from China, cheat the source and worth a bundle selling to the Japanese. How do you know all this? <laughs> I'm a journalist. You know, the magazine Weekly Shinjutsu? I write for them. Yeah. No, can't say I do. So you're a journalist. Name's Kas... The name's Kasuga. Kasuga what? Kasuga Ichiban? <laughs> I'm Kiryu. So y you're telling me Ichiban isn't the first Kasuga that Kiryu knows? Kiryu kun, huh? There, it's in the memory bank now. See, I'm investigating the dark side of Kamurocho. That's all the sides, man. This town's teeming with shady characters. I want to get the inside scoop and blow the covers clear off. 
The dark side of Kamurocho, huh? Mm. I'm not sure that's a good idea. One false step and you could find yourself in way over your head. <laughs> yeah, it's no problem. I've been through worse. I know when to hold them and when to fold them. Kiryu's ex Yakuza. AKA just as of like two days ago. So he's basically still Yakuza. And you know because of the events of Yakuza 1, he's gonna go back to Yakuza. It's just temporary. Barkeep, whiskey and water. Oh, you're not telling you. You don't want to buy a gun, do you? Hey. Have I read Yakuza's Guide to Baby Sitting? I do not read any manga. I'm gonna tell you all that right now. If you're gonna ask me if I've ever read manga, I, the answer is probably no. Not because I don't read manga, it's because I don't ever have time to read manga. And you know, people can say like, oh, when you say you don't have time for something, that means you're just not gonna make time for something. Well, I've got a full-time job and I stream, and that just takes up all my time. And I already don't sleep. So, uh, yeah, there's no time. <laughs> right away, sir. Oh, he's looking for guns. Boss man, I'm stepping out for a minute. Certainly. So is the whiskey and water, like, code word for a gun? See, they go out together and he sells his guns. I see. For my story, I need a sense of gritty realism. I need to get close to the action, even if that means taking risks. But here's my plan. I'm gonna try buying a gun from him. Nani? What? Anyone can just walk up and buy a gun? Ah. Uh. Yeah, if you sit next to him and order a whiskey and water, supposedly that's the signal. Oh, yeah. The guy earlier ordered a whiskey and water, too. I guess, yeah, yo, know, it's like, it's like that part of Paper Mario where you're like, oh yeah, buy the dried shroom and buy the, buy the this and that, and then you'll, 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 you'll get the password. Cause it's like, who's gonna order a whiskey and a water together? You wanna water it down? Ew. Nah, I'm convinced. I'm gonna take a shot at it. Not today, but soon. No good can come from a civilian striking a match into criminal affairs. Play with fire and you'll get burned. <laughs> Kiryu does like saying that. You're worried for me? Appreciate it. Maybe next time I can interview you, Kiryu Kun. If I'm in the mood. Hey, don't be that way. Tell you what, though, let's drown our sorrows here again sometime. So next time we drink on your tab, Kiryu Kun. On your tab, Kiryu Kun. In the return, I'll tell you some stories you wouldn't believe. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. I gotta get manga reading tips for One Piece fans. Here's the problem I wanna read manga. I've been trying to read One Piece. Can't even do that. Oh boy. Sure hope I don't have to do a fight. Uh, let's see what fighting is like on my mouse and keyboard because that's all I can use right now. The game isn't letting me use another controller. <laughs> this is weird. Look! Please help me! Oh crap, no, it's these guys! Walk away. Wasn't looking at anything. Sorry, kid. I'm not in a good place to fight right now. Let's leave this area through the other route. Yeah, I'm hurting. Oh good, there's a calling card somewhere. Reka Aiba. No, 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 no! Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! No! Oh good, these are normal thugs. These are normal thugs. They're not the fast guys. I'm so happy. I should probably heal though. Inventory. What the heck is going on? Okay, so left click is weak attack. Right click is strong attack. And I guess E is dodge? These are the first- this is the first time in a long time I've fought regular enemies. I don't know what's going on with my enemy spawn. What the hell? Is that an objective? Oh no, it's the side quest again. It's- it's spawned now that I've left it. Look, my muscles are acting up. I can't control them as well as I normally do. It's like a game controller, you know? Video games. 
The guy in there playing Dragon Quest knows about video games. Jeez. Hey, maybe we can play some... All right, you know what? Uh, it's not exactly a story beat to end off on, but we are about to hit four hours. Let's... Oh, but then... I was going to say, let's play the disco, because it's got to be Friday night. But how do I do that on mouse and keyboard? See, normally I'd be like, oh yeah, the buttons will show up. But now it's doing this weird thing where it thinks the controller's plugged in, but I can't use it. Okay. Okay, I've disconnected the controller that I'm trying to use. Here we go. Now buttons show up. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna do disco. Wait, where did disco go? I thought I just saw it. Uh, how, oh, there it is. Oh, is that not the disco? I thought it was. It looked like it. Uh, map is what key? What key is map? What key is map? Caps lock. Uh, shift. Control. Alt. F1. F2. F9. Map is M. What's a Dragon Quest? Never heard of it. Expecting Disco received Korean barbecue. Can Kiryu be goofy at Disco? Let's find it. Shake your groove thing. Shake your groove thing. Yeah, yeah. Show them how to do it now. Shake your groove thing. Shake your groove thing. Yeah, yeah. It's up here. Got it. As long as I don't... Oh, stop and search, man. I should talk to him. I, sh I should talk to him. Oh, Kiryu-san, got time for a stop and search? What should I hand over? Here, have some mushrooms. Not illicit mushrooms, just mushrooms. How about this? Hmm, this is about as safe as it gets. Doesn't look like you're carrying anything dangerous. Take this back. Your cooperation is appreciated. Wow. Oh. That's kind of weird that the run button is E. Because I can't, like, press D without pressing E and D at the same time. That's weird. I don't like that. But dun dun da dun dun da da. Hey, Dad, do a perfect cast at the disco. It do be Friday night. Okay, I'm going to do like every song, but then just end with Friday night because it's Friday night. It is the way. Common, I don't know if you saw, but like I got those Enoki mushrooms from a shady guy in a back alley. He's like, I'll sell you mushrooms that make you feel good. And Kiryu's like, I'm not into that. Sorry. That guy's like, here, have some Minoki. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. All right, DJ, hit it. I can't imagine anybody willingly playing this with mouse and keyboard. Dance solo. Queen of Passion. I'm gonna make her mine. A hit single from the pop star Prince Miracle Johnson. Let's go. Each song in this mini game is very loosely based off an actual song. What is Friday Night based on? I want to know. Oh, look at him go. He's got the moves. Look at the angry little blob. Help! Help! I know I was gonna use the right side of the keyboard.
I, I, I'm, get, I'm forgetting how to type right now. Well, I figured out what that song's based on. <laughs> Yay! Failure! You know what? I can't... Hold on. Hold on. Let me just, uh... I'm gonna go get my controller again. Xbox controller, go. At least I'll do better than whatever that was. Because I'm bad. My brain was like... Oh, good. Why did the screenshot get taken? My my brain was, like, confusing I and L because I looks like a capital, a lowercase L, but then J is, like, a backwards L. That's, like, the worst keys to use, man. I know it's just, like, neutral typing position, but still. Here. I saved right before this. I will literally just restart the game. Because I'm bad. I'm bad. You know it. Because I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm really, really bad, because I'm bad, I'm bad, da -da -ba -ba -da. because I'm bad, I'm bad. Do y'all watch, uh, Weird, a uh, uh, Weird, uh, uh, yeah, Weird, the Al Yankovic story? What? <laughs> Why did I have so much trouble saying that? It's like my, I, I wanted to say... Weird, a weird Al Yankovic story. No, it's weird, the Al Yankovic story, which is very much not an accurate, uh, very much not an accurate biography at all. But still fun. Request Coino Disco Queen, if I can find it. Continue. Bum bum bum. Today is Friday. No one in that anymore. Now it's Saturday in California. Oh man, I missed out on doing Friday during Friday night. Oh, forgot to stop and search. Here, have the mushrooms again. Thank you. Disco Queen's your favorite song to do in the in the mini game. Whoa, Mr. Shakedown. Uh. I kind of feel like taking fast travel to get there. Whoa. Because it's faster. Whoa. It's really, really bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. It's really, really bad. Shut up, mate! Yeah! Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Friday night is based off two uh, Michael For Fortunat Fortunati's songs, Into the Night and Give Me Up. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows Beat It is a parody of Eat It, not the other way around, because Weird Al Yankovic, Weird Al Yankovic story is 100% true. This is true. It's really funny to me how they played the Michael Jackson angle in that movie when Michael Jackson apparently like really loved getting parodied. Uh oh. But hey, you know what? Don't want no Captain Crush, don't want no Razor Brand. Let's do this justice.
I don't understand how these people dance in like suits. I would feel so stifled. Let's do Koino Disco Queen. Oh yeah, this was one of the songs that played in the bar in uh, in Yakuza Seven. I want to take her home is David Bowie's Seven. Let's Dance. Ooh, do I have that song? Oh baby. How much paradise your favorite Weird Al song? I mean, it's just a good song overall. Oh, look at him go! Xbox controller. <laughs> Kiwami, you heard the convenience store playing Silver Steam from Sonic 06. Sega doobie Sega, though. You listen to this on Spotify all the time. It's a good one. Uh, my work, we have a little chat where we, like, share whatever songs we're listening to. And, uh, one of my coworkers likes to, like, to post party songs on Friday. I'm like, I know exactly what I'm posting on Friday. I posted up Friday night and he's like, yeah, that's a good beat. Heck yeah. Leaving the party already? Come back soon, alright? I will. Come back right now. We've been spending most our lives living in an Amish paradise. I wanna take you home. Let's try it. What if I can, like, use the keyboard and the buttons? That pose has so much intensity to it. Oh! This is Let's Dance. Yeah, like straight up. Let's dance. Put on your red shoes and dance to me. Oops. You like to My heart into that thing bad down into my house, tremble like a flower. Oh, 
that's a hard one. I'm just realizing... No, no, that's wrong. I was gonna say, I'm realizing that the button colors on Xbox actually kind of match up with the button colors on PlayStation. But they kind of do, they kind of don't. Koino Disco Queen is Yoko o Oginomi's dancing hero. Hmm? Hello? Oh, we're learning. Oh, <laughs> look, this guy has the same fake hair as that one homeless guy. <laughs> Cheesy, flashy guy. Yes, you, that's right. The impressive specimen. Hey, I was gonna dance the Friday night. What are you doing? Are you talking to me? Like your mind is Michael Jackson's bad. Queen of Passion is Banana Rama's Venus. I only recognize like some of these songs. I only know Let's Dance because of freaking Elite Beat Agents. Yes, yes, you! Took you long enough to notice. Can you come over here? Who are you? Me? I'm Hisaki, lover of dance and lover of women. You're annoying is what you are. Okay, got it. Later. Huh? Wait, wait! Hold on! What? What do you want from me? You see this dance floor? It's my playground, and I've been watching you dance, friend. That's when it hit me. You got a talent for dancing that's off the scale. Nani? What? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Eh, he takes the compliment, though. Yeah. No, 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 there's no fool in me. I wouldn't mind seeing it again up close, so... I challenge you to a battle! A battle? Wait, you want to fight me? With fists? No, 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 not at all! Are you telling me you don't know what a dance battle is? A dance battle? No, I've never heard of it. What, are we gonna start breakdancing? Break out the cardboard boxes? Huh? huh? That's ridiculous! A tragedy! Dancing is something people do together! Dance by yourself on a dance floor in Camarocho? What's the point? I mean, Maharaja is the holy land of dance! How could you not know about dance battles? Unbelievable! It's impossible to be that out of touch! It's so out of touch, <laughs> it's like backwards evolution! You're like a Neanderthal! I saw a video of like people simulating what it would be like to talk like a Neanderthal. If you taught them how to talk, what would they sound like? And just like simulating the shape of the head and the neck and eventually you're just like, this guy is just like tucking his head in and, and then they're saying like, hey, okay, now just talk from one to three and like enunciate through your nostrils. And he's just like, one, two, three. I like, oh, ah, I see. Good thing we uh, uh, evolved to to talk the way we do, or else every one of my streams would just be like that. I think this tweet wants to fight after all. Okay, okay, I'll explain. In a dance battle, two dancers dance the same songs to use better. Both dancers show their stuff, the audience reaction determines the winner. Alright, I get the picture. Great, you, you catch on quick for a caveman. Let's not waste any time then, let's hit the floor. Remember when Daddy? Geico had commercials that were like, they had the caveman, he's like, it's so easy, a caveman could do it. To the point where it's just like the caveman just became the, the mascot. And then they just went back to the gecko. What better time is there? Dancing is awesome because you can get down to boogie anytime, anywhere, any which way. A dance battle. Except. Okay, let's do this. Groovy, it's on. And what do you know? I'm doing it Friday night. What do you say? What do you say, y'all? We do this hard mode. All right, all right. Common, common, common. You want to start a? You want to start a prediction? Will I beat him in the dance battle on hard mode? That's the prediction. Put it up for like two minutes. Two minutes voting. Oh man, is this like Japanese leader shoot Larry? But in a time when leader shoots aren't out of play, out of place? Yeah, in the 80s. How about that? Oh my. You prefer the trunk monkey though? All right, y'all, get the points ready, cause we're about to start a bet. Okay, I might have to start it. Okay, I'm probably just gonna start it. Prediction. Ba 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 da da da. Ba da 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 da. Win the dance battle on hard. Outcome one. Yes. Option two. Nah. Submission period. Let's put it for two minutes. All right, y'all. 
at the top of the chat, there should be a prediction. You can bet your channel points to see if I'll win or not. And the winner will get the pot. You got two minutes to vote. You can even vote on mobile. I'm not doing it with the keyboard though. I'm doing it with the Xbox controller, which I'm not as familiar with the buttons as PlayStation, but it's gonna be a lot better than when I was using the I, J, K, and L keys. Haru finally finished Ratchet and Clank 2016. Interesting game, he had fun playing, but it felt, felt nothing. Yeah, it's very by the books as a remake. Like, it's not even a remake, it's just like a reimagining. I think, like, they should have spent effort on making it as one-to-one -one as possible and just updating the theatrics and the gameplay. Just the- and the quality of life. Cause that's all it really needed. It's already a great game. It just needs, uh, to be brought up to the modern era. But I, I guess it just suffered from having to tie into that movie. Which kinda sucks. Like, the cutscenes basically are that movie. Man, it could've been- Could you imagine a world where that took off and we just have Sony movie franchises? I'm so glad that The Last of Us series is getting- Is getting, like, recognition. Because that's putting Sony and Naughty Dog on the map when it comes to the entertainment world. Yeah. So we got it for free when they have it away a few years ago, so to play it. Uh, plan on moving to Rift Apart now. After that, you plan to return to the originals, really. That's gonna be interesting. I've only played Rift Apart, which is a little weird. Just because I wanted to justify my PS5. And hey, look at that. You just got a PS5, Haru. But uh, yeah, the original trilogy is gonna be interesting. I, it's one of those games where I saw it on Best Buy all the time and I wanted to eventually have it. But when I finally got a PS2, I didn't like end up buying them. And then before I knew it, they were off the shelves. So sad. Uh, it's like Ratchet and Clank if Ratchet and Clank had none of one's actual vibes. I've seen like, they rewrote Ratchet to the point where he doesn't even feel like the same character. Which brings him more in line with modern Ratchet and Clank. But it's like, he was so sassy in the original game for some reason. I don't know. Alright, the predictions are in. Let's heck it do it, baby. A crowd favorite that everyone enjoys. We're ending Friday night right. Let's party! Here we go. It's the duo. Oh, look at that. That should be Majima. That should be Majima. Come on. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The monkey. Do the monkey with me. Oh, the other guy's so happy. Oh, I went too far. The D-pad's messed it up. Does he also play on hard? I like how he's using computer keys. <laughs> Dancing Fever! Baby! I'm winning! <laughs> I got this in the bag. <laughs> I won, but actually not by much, honestly. Just a thousand points. Ayo. <laughs> Even while he's defeated on the ground, he's still smiling. Look at that right there. I like the little angry blob. That is Kiryu to a T. Dang. All right, the believers win. Y'all believed in me, right? Right? <laughs> Choose the outcome. Win? Yes. Oh, baby, who's got, who's got the monies? Who's got the winnings? Yeah. 
Key details. Don't tell me Haru was the literal only person who believed in me. We got yes, 12,000, nah, 4,418. <laughs> Which was like almost my score, basically. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Haru just raking in the points. Pretty heckin' good. Yeah, playing Spider-Man? Hell yeah, that's a good PS5 game. Let me know when you start Yakuza Like a Dragon. I need to see everything. That's a good game right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh. Oh, oh, that was really something. <laughs> Not really. Oh boy, you wet the floor with me. <laughs> What's wrong? Did all the dancing shake your brain loose? Yeah, just it's seeping out of his ears. No, I'm so happy I can't keep myself from laughing. I haven't danced like this in too long. <laughs> That's good to hear. It's all thanks to you, my brother. Brother? Chodai. What's wrong with that? After all, that, what else can we be? We danced wild, we danced hot, we danced together. Kiryu's like, oh. I, I, I had brothers once. It was in the Yakuza. But now I no longer. Huh. Is that how it works? That's exactly how it works. I knew my eyes were deceiving me. You got legit talent, my brother. Maybe, maybe you could even take him. Hajima! <gasps> Him? Huh? Just Mr. Shakedown just stomps into the club being like, All right, if you can't beat me in a dash battle, I'm taking all your money. Let's go. Like a dragon on the 20th? Ooh, hopefully I can make that. Da, 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 da. Two years, where does the time go? Pretty good. Pretty good. Me and my big mouth. Just forget you heard a word, brother. Nothing to do with you. Yet. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, I don't think I've ever caught your name. Kiryu. Kiryu it is. I have a feeling you're gonna be a big name in the world of dance. <laughs> whatever. All right, brother. I have to go. I'll be looking forward to hitting the dance floor again with you. Hey? Uh, who's watching? Sure. Mm. That boy, Kiryu. He's good. <laughs> but maybe not quite at my level yet. Dancing queen? Young and sweet? Only 17? Let's go. We got dance battles, baby. What a way to end the night. But I gotta make sure to save this before I forget. Dancing queen. Eat a spleen. With a side of ice cream. Where the hell's the exit? <laughs> I'm lost. New social link. The dancer. You got. You got to be. You got. You, you. You can't tell me that there isn't a dancing arcana. It represents the will to shake a groove thing. Shake a groove thing. Yeah, yeah. Show them how to do it now. Shake your groove thing. Shake your groove thing. Yeah, yeah. Show them how to do it now. Can't I save in the pause menu? Can I? Uh, doesn't look like it. Unread messages. From who? Dojima family office. 49 means urgent. Code for what you're up to. Oh. <laughs> Settings? Why would they hide it over there? I can load, but I can't save. I guess in Yakuza 0, you can only save at the payphones. Yo, that's a fancy car. Is that even for the 80s? What is this? There's no way. Oh, there's a calling card somewhere. I, I, I hear it. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Marina Shirashi Shiraishi. Sorry. I was distracted by the calling card. Save! And with that, 
I think it's time to go. I used Friday Night for the starting song, the ending song, and I played it in the game. It really do be the Friday Night, don't it? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. Go, everybody. Y'all. All right, so uh, I've said this multiple times. This is the last stream until a week later. Uh, I'm not streaming next week. Uh, I'm gonna be out of town. Uh, it wasn't planned, but you know, it's it's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that this is really the only game I'm playing right now. I can just relax. When you next see me, I'll have gone to MGS Con. I'll have gone to, 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 to eat good food. I'll have like so much to report on, you don't even know. I'll have so many Gundams built. You don't even know. You don't even know. But, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to be playing Yakuza 0 again. I'm still not up to the point where I was last time I played this. I basically got to the Majima part and, uh, hadn't really caught up to that part yet. But we'll get there. We'll go at our own pace. I don't feel like I'm in a rush to do story these days. I'm just gonna play this game the way I want to play it. And that means dancing all night long, baby. Thank you for listening to Minook Radio. Nothing but Friday night, all night. You don't like it, change the channel. Let's go! One Gundam, that's way more than I usually do. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Kazuma Kiryu, will he avenge the murder that he didn't even make? Maybe, I don't even know. Not even, avenge doesn't even make sense in this context. He'll just detective it out, you know? You know, Phantom Detective, Ghost Trick. Play Ghost Trick, y'all. Play Ghost Trick, but also let's play Shantae. Yeah, yeah, play those games. Okie dokie. I'll see y'all later. If you ever have any art for the stream, post it up on the Discord or send it to me on social media and I will put it up, put it up, put it up. Everybody, everybody can make a disco chicken. I would like that. That's pretty good art. Uh, but someday, someday, someday. Links are in the chat for the social media. Copy this raid message if you're coming along. And we'll see you on wherever we're going. Have a good Friday and have a good week, everybody. If you're going to sleep, I'll let you. Have a good night. And goodbye. Damn it,